<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Arcane Arcade. <clears throat> um, Jacob and Logan and Spencer are on vacation this week, mm -hmm. so uh, I thought I would set up a one shot with Tim, who you recognize, mm -hmm. Paul, who you recognize, and Grace, who is one of our mutual friends. So, um, this is a little bit different because we're all going to be playing, they're going to be playing different characters and it'll be in a uh, little homebrew city that I've created, um, completely separate from anything Logan and Jacob are doing. So, Paul, if you would introduce your character to us. My character's name is Prometheus, and he is a fire genasi, and also a storm herald barbarian, so he's just on fire all the time. He has like a really cool like red ponytail and like goatee, like similar to this one, so if that helps you get in the headspace. Uh, <clears throat> I'm playing Vega. She's a uh, protector Azamar uh, with cleric and one whole level <laughs> wizard with a, with a corgi familiar. Um, mm -hmm. This is her first adventure, <laughs> so it's going to go well. And, uh, and I'm playing uh, Nero, who is a, a human monk. And uh, what else were we describing about our characters? Just what they look like? Uh, uh, sure. He's pretty old. Die. He has gray hair. He's he gray like. hair. He's got like a like a long kind of like goatee, uh, and then like like uh, really long shaggy hair that kind of falls over his, his ears. I can't describe what she looked like, but all right. What does she look like? I don't even know. You don't even. And know. One, it looks like you. If you don't know what they look like, they look like you. One important <laughs> detail about Nero is that he loves easy roller dice. <laughs> Easy Go. roller <laughs> die. Yeah. I think I think there's a link in the description. Uh, it should be XP23, uh, and that is that is the code you'll use to get 15% off if you go to easyrollerdice.com. That was beautiful. All right. Um, easy roller dice, best dice ever. <laughs> Alongside easy roller dice, I apologize uh, for dropping those. For <laughs> um, I mean, they're well, that like, easy to roll, man. Well, yeah, they're that easy. Um, alongside uh, easy roller dice, we also have a merch store, which none of us are wearing. Whoops. Um, right now, <laughs> including me. Uh, but that's down there. We have, I believe, socks, beanies, uh, dice bags, shirts, sure. and maybe other stuff. I'm not... There's like totally... stickers. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, the stickers, apparently. <laughs> Wait, don't uh, you I haven't been on there in a few days. We're adding stuff all the time. Set stuff. So oh. get some socks, support the channel. <laughs> we need to pay our rent, all, all that stuff. Um, so you guys are in the city of um, Turst. Uh, however long you've been there is up to you. Uh, and there's this tavern that you've come across named the Dinan Dash, uh, known for its legendary um, food prep times. Um, you all are there for various reasons, either, uh, either just for a good time or um, whatever you're doing. What are you, what are you guys doing in the tavern? Uh I'm probably there for a quick bite uh, in between uh, my next adventure. So I'm just kind of like looking for work and then grabbing something to eat at the same time. I am probably staying in there for like the night as I'm, or like staying in there for the week as I pass through town. Perfect. And then I'm going to take some liberties and say that you walk in with a horde of clerics behind you. Like very worried parents. <laughs> be like, okay, Vega, this is what you do if this happens. Happens, and if this happens, you're gonna pray silver flame and just hope for the best, because that's that's all you have to do. Just just pray. And she's just like, okay, guys, I think I can do this. <laughs> and then, uh, so yeah, so they they uh, they're doing that. They're just like, come on, you got this. Uh, you know, we'll we'll give you get a job and then come back once it's done and just tell us how it went, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Pat you on the back and they all walk out. Um, you two happen to be uh, up on the bar. The bar table area, so you're kind of sitting a few seats away from one another. Okay. Um, when the doors open, and they open in a bit of a uh, illustrious way, um, more more so than just someone walking in, like they want to get your attention. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you guys turn to look, you see a um, you see a relatively tall uh, female, um, long black hair running down uh, about to her waist. Dressed in um, fabulous clothing, uh, looks very, very rich, very odd for someone to be visiting a tavern of medium stature looking like this. Okay. Just kind of walks in. I'll probably like sort of just like go back to uh, whatever I was eating or drinking, uh, but then like sort of like in like my peripheral, like kind of keep an eye on her. Okay, cool. Are you guys doing anything? Drinking a lot of alcohol. Drinking a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's kind of standing there nervously, like, trying to figure out how people do things in taverns. And just kind of like, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just getting more and more nervous as she's a little bit confused because it's a lot of stuff going on, too. All right, cool. Um, as you guys are eating and drinking and you're figuring out how to order food, um, she comes up to the bartender and uh, exchanges a few words um, fairly quietly and then yeah. passes a slip of paper over to the bartender and begins to walk out. All right. Uh, can I, can I, like, call over the bartender? Sure, yeah. Right. So the bar, the bartender is this, uh, <clears throat> bit older dwarf. Says, hi, right, what you need? Hey, who was that lady? Oh, that, that's, uh, that's Annabelle. She's, uh, leader of one of the, uh, one of the merchant factions here. Does she have any work that she needs? Yes, actually. She told me to find some people that she thought would, uh, I thought would be suitable. A lot of adventurers come through here. Anything oh. to use now? Yeah, absolutely. So he'll uh, <clears throat> he'll open the paper and he'll show it to you. So I still need this to, unless you want to get in the room. It's up to you. Uh, I mean, unless you know better people, um, I could probably look around here, find some people real quick. Hands the paper to you. And all it says on it is, uh, uh, "Work needed. Come to um, come to Merchant District. Um, the uh, Annabelle's Annabelle Supplies in the Merchant District, and bring uh, multiple people um, urgent help needed." By the way, just letting you know, there's a guy sitting a couple seats away from you, dressed in all very dark clothes that are a little tight, with like a dark hood, and a very, very large glaive sitting next to you. I'm gonna say everyone else, <laughs> everyone else in the group, or everyone else in the tavern, look kind of kind of average, uh, just like everyday people, or maybe folk that used to be adventurers in their time, but they're like missing a hand, or something's caused them to maybe have to retire from that life or be not at their best. Uh -huh. uh, besides this man, and you see uh, uh, what appears to be a young girl in like this shining, pristine armor. It probably has her tabard <laughs> over it, you know, with the silver flame on it. Uh, she probably have like light blonde hair, a little um, tied back. Very She's obviously a cleric. Very, very okay. pale. Impos <laughs> impossible to, to not recognize as a cleric. Though there is a little corgi by your feet. You right, know, there's a it's gonna feel so bad about doing this. Well, All right. <laughs> uh, you know the, the regular gold and the uh, gold. slightly the, like, amber kind of color. Yeah, the okay. slightly toasted corgi, <laughs> not <laughs> burnt though. All right, so I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna walk over to you, and then just sort of like lean back against the 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 bar, mm -hmm. and then like tap your shoulder, like, hey, uh, you're you're an adventurer, right? Yes, I am. And then I like put my arm around you and like, do you want to go on an adventure? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's actually what I was coming up. I got some work if you're... If you're Fantastic! And then I get up and walk out well, the door. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you actually walk out? Yeah. I don't know where that guy's going, but I mean... <laughs> he doesn't even know where to go. <laughs> Quickly, now he walks back in and he's like, wait, where are we going? Uh, I... I, I want to tell you, but I feel like you're just gonna walk away if I tell you. <laughs> and I need one other person for this this job. So oh, okay. <laughs> Specific group of people. Ah, I just yep. Um, I mean, I don't know if you see anyone else around here, or you know anyone else. Well, maybe. I take a look around the room, and then I go, <sighs> and then I run over to the corgi. I'm like, it's a loaf. And then I just no, no. Like, it. It, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's at this point I should mention, I should mention at the beginning, all the players are level 5 for this game, mm -hmm. so... Oh, I thought you were going to eat him. Oh, you're no, just, no, no, just like petting him. She's just like, oh god, you're very large. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's Dr. Fluffy Bottom. Um, I love Dr. Fluffy Bottom. Um, and I keep petting me. I'll walk over, <laughs> and then I'll be um, like, so you want the dog to join us? Yes. Uh, he right. can't do much. I mean... I can heal through him. Oh, okay. Yeah, like from afar sometimes I can just Wait, heal you're a healer? Him. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're hired. You're hired. What? Uh, from what? Uh, We're going on an adventure. Yeah. Let's go! And now I walk out again. <laughs> of course, uh, I was told to come here for that. So, uh... That guy still doesn't know where he's going, so... And then I walk back <laughs> and like, why are we waiting around still? Are you, are you good to go? Yeah, I'm Vega. It's nice to meet you. All right, I'm Nero. That's... I didn't get his name. He just... He's just signed on. <laughs> Hi. I'm Prometheus. Nice to meet you. Really tall. <laughs> She's like four. Well, by the way, he's six two. Like, yeah. All right, so we're going to the merchants district ah. mm -hmm, to find a woman named Annabelle. 
Okay. I don't know who that is, so lead the way. All right. Do, I'm um, assuming I'm I there, mean, at least. You, you guys, you've probably been there your, your whole life, uh, thinking about it for a moment. Um, Annabelle's Supplies is kind of like the Walmart of, of this place. <laughs> Low like, quality like, clothing. Like, it's not necessarily the highest quality, but... Mass they produced. Have, they're, they're very, yeah, mass produced. There's a lot of Annabelle supply stores just here and in the country around. And this, if, if the person named Annabelle, if it's actually the owner, then this is a pretty major. Okay. Yeah, so we're like going to meet the CEO. Basically, you're <laughs> going to meet like one of the, yeah, the CEO of Walmart or of Annabelle supplies, as it were. All right. Great. Cool. All right, cool. So you guys walk through. Um, this would be a little bit of time to set uh, the setting of trust. Um, so. Sorry, Turst. Uh, Turst is uh, kind of a a little bit of a futuristic city for D and D standards. A lot of it's uh, building stuff are made of metals. Uh, they're they're the equivalent of um, skyscrapers that exist uh, for like offices and guard guard posts and uh, and just other buildings that are needed for supply storing or for uh, for governmental purposes. Um, it looks very much like what a D and D New York would look like. Okay. Um, and as you're walking through, you come to the Merchant District, which is uh, similar to just a, a row of buildings, and each building uh, various heights based off of what it is. You see an armor shop, you know, Dr Brewer Supplies, Potion Shop, and Annabelle's Supply Store. Okay. So it's first like a it's like a trade city basically, like a lot of trade um, runs through. A here. lot of trade runs through there. Yeah, it's on a it's on a port. Okay. So, sorry. I should... cool. It's a port city, and a lot of trade runs uh, straight through the port, and then there's the living section, kind of a little bit more off of the water. Okay. So you guys are kind of going over down towards the port section of, this, of the city. Um, I've never actually been here by myself before. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to have a great time. Really? This, yeah, this is a fun part of the city. It's okay, I've never been to this part of the city before either. Honestly, this is like my second day in here. You guys not... Oh, you've only been in the city for two days? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that makes that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't allowed to go places by myself. Have you been in the city before though? Yeah, I've lived here my whole life. Oh, okay. I'm not really allowed to go places because I think I'd get lost a lot, which I did actually a couple of times. So I guess it's within good reason of them wanting to keep track because I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna walk in now. Okay. <laughs> Just well, like. What's your name again? What's the corgi? Doctor Fluffy Bottom. Doctor Fluffy Bottom, the corgi. He has a PhD. Yes, <laughs> PhD. Yeah. So, so, um, so uh, Nero, you walk in, and uh, do you two follow behind? Of course. Cool. So as you enter, uh, you enter up and just lined on the walls. Uh, behind you, and if not, not I'm sorry, in front of you and beside you are just. Um, all, all sorts of supplies, tent supplies, weapons, armors. It's kind of like, it looks like it's like the surplus store, kind of. There's just a little bit of everything from everywhere, and it's all just stuffed into here. Okay. And uh, there is a gnome um, waiting uh, at the counter. He goes, oh, greetings. Are you, uh, you looking for some armors, for some brewer supplies? Well, we have it all here at uh, Annabelle's, Annabelle's Supply Shop. Uh, <laughs> we're actually looking for uh, Annabelle. And I, like, hold up the note. Oh, oh yes, she did. She did mention she was going uh, to the Dine and Dash to uh, to gather some uh, some people to do a job that she needed. I assume that's you then. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I can I can uh, I can lead you back and, and you guys can uh, meet in her office if you'd like. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Um, while walking through, uh, will I notice any like? Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Uh, so it's you a good idea. Kind of follow. It's a good <laughs> idea. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys are gonna follow uh, behind the snow. Pretty character. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you guys uh, follow behind and you go around like the the the, the twists and turns of the uh, back of the shops. There's just boxes and supplies as you go, and then as you come back, there's a staircase that leads up to a spacious office um, with. Uh, with look like the entire this entire wall is basically made out of like a shaved glass style material, so you can kind of see through it. Okay. And uh, there you see a desk, and then the uh, black-haired woman from uh, previously. Okay. So he goes, well, she's uh, she's she's right in there. Um, 
this is, and if you need anything, you know, come come back down. This is my, my first day, and they always want to. This is your first day? My first day. You're doing a great job for your first day. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just uh, heading there, and I, I gotta get back to my post. And he walks <laughs> off. Alright. Give it a couple days, and he won't, like, if anybody comes in, he'll just purposely ignore them. <laughs> just avoid them, like employees do. <laughs> so, is Annabelle behind, like, doors? Yeah, so so what you see is you guys, uh, he led you up a staircase, mm -hmm. and then there's a set of double doors, and then the entire wall, including the doors, um, besides the door frames, you know, you made out of, like, the shaved glass-like material, and you can see through it to see her uh, behind a desk, uh, standing behind a desk, kind of looking down at some okay. papers. I'm going to open up the door very loudly and bombastically, <laughs> cool but, like, man not it. enough to break the glass. Cool. <laughs> Kool Aid Bandit. You know what? Oh, yeah. Well, oh. let's see how strong this glass is. <laughs> Rip in peace. Don't glass. forget, I. Strong enough. Okay. Thank God. A crack. You open the door and you, you feel it, and like as you push it open, you think, and at the last second, you, you stop it right at, the, right at the edge, and you introduce yourself. Oh, yes, I'll be like, hello, my name is Prometheus, and we are three adventurers who will do an adventure for you. I don't know what that was. This is so you're 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 one of the ones that the the dwarf got for me then. Yes. Who do we need to kill? We'll probably like walk up behind them. <laughs> like yeah, us two. Behind you two. Okay. Don't wave. Uh, well, Three it's, mean. it's a bit of a of a tough task, and we'll we'll have to uh, send send some of our own sort of with you uh, uh, constructs that we have. Um, as, as it were, some of our supplies had been hijacked by a group of uh, pirates, and um, from what we understand, they've taken off on one of our airships, uh, leaving the city. And, you know, this, the city, there's so many ships coming in, land and sea, sometimes I guess they just get lost in the, in the mix. Do you know anything about the pirates? Not, not much. Um, they, I believe they use constructs as well. Um, okay. They, they seem to be good builders. If uh, we complete the job, like, perfectly, can we keep the airship? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those, those are kind of expensive. Um, the only reason the only reason they mention is um, is if you're coming in on, on one of our airships, you can't you can't sink it. Like, we need those supplies back. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to figure out a way to board. Uh, yeah. By all okay. means. Do you know where they live? Last left from where? Um, they they were seen heading north by our man that that survived the attack. Okay. Um, he's he's home resting now. He had a pretty bad injury. So. Do you think we would be able to ask him some questions? Uh, you you might be able to. He lives um, over on the other side of town in the the uh, the living districts. Um, and like I'm not exactly sure where he lives, but his. His name is Peter, um, and he is, and he's a human, so that might give you somewhere to start at least. As yeah, opposed not to a lot of humans named Peter. As opposed to Peter the Half Elf. <laughs> um, so he's you know, a little bit older. So. Oh, like, old as him? Older? Younger? Uh, probably you call a old. little bit younger. Are you not old? He's probably in, a, in his forties. <laughs> She's like. Mm, um, she, she like pulls I mean, according. Like, so Wait. Through a few papers and pulled up a file. He's he's forty two, so. So older. Probably, uh, is his is his address in that file? It's not. Oh dang it! Okay. We pay we pay all of our workers here. So. Is forty two older than you or younger than you? Younger. So I'm I'm old. Oh boy. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Goes that uh, he he has he has blue eyes and he has uh, he has long brown hair. Really ominous music. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> like, we're gonna get to Peter and he's possessed or something. Blue eyes and brown, brown hair. hair. Long brown hair. Yeah. So that's about all that we uh, we know. Um, well, not all we know. That's he knows everything else that we know. But as far as I know, he's told me everything. It's just they've been heading north. Mm. Uh, if you're gonna do that, I prefer it happen now because we need to leave. We need to leave post haste to catch up with those pirates. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Find them. I don't. I have no idea how we're gonna find this airship. Um, Just go to... So the ship, the ship is listed as one of ours. Mm -hmm. So it, it has to travel. 
Uh, airship laws are weird, and it has to travel kind of within a certain district. So it should be, there should be a, a line that you can follow, so to say, uh, of ships. Do you have like those travels? Do you have other port she, districts? She pulls, she pulls through and she pulls out like a map. And so the way that it, the way that it works is kind of like, kind of like a, kind of like a tram station type of thing. It mm -hmm. looks like just a lot, lot, a lot of public uh, transport routes. Yeah, with just like the route. Yeah, and so it's showing about that that airship has to go on. And okay. It might not. I don't know that it's going on that one, but it should be um, somewhere near that route so that it doesn't appear. Um, it doesn't appear like anything's out of order. If that makes sense, it, it's more that I mm -hmm. think they're planning on landing out here and then just taking the goods instead of delivering them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that way the airship isn't suspicious in the air. Okay. Um, it's about a it's about a five day journey. Uh, we have a bit of a faster one that we can land you so that you can catch up to them before they land. Faster airship? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you'll need one to catch up to them. So. Uh. Okay, yeah. Never flown an airship before. Do your con are your constructs going to fly? Our constructs will fly. Okay, so, well, yeah. that's a little disappointing. Right. So you'll do, you but... can just direct them and they'll do it for you. All right. So, that would not have ended well. Yeah. Yes, I don't want you wrecking one of my airships too. That would not be the best. All right, I think we have everything we need then, unless you guys need to get supplies. <laughs> uh, I was given, like, a lot of stuff. Are there, is there food on the ship? Is it stuck? Um, we can supply that if you would need. Yeah, yeah, just some yeah. for the journey. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll make sure that uh, that that um, Gavin gets on that right away. And I will. Great, let's go. And I walk out the room. He's been doing that a lot. He'll come back. Maybe. Um, uh, so we just need to go to the docks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then if you if you want to talk to the man, he's the opposite direction. So if you're going to do that, just make make it quick. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to or need to. Okay, I'll send I'll send Gavin with you with uh, some supplies then, and then close the shop up for the time being. All right. And she walked. Uh, she walks over to um, this little stone, and just kind of looks at it for a minute, and then the gnome comes running up. It's like, yes, yes, Annabel. Gavin, you need to uh, get some supplies and go put it on the ship that these that these men will be, uh, men and women will be um, taking to. The pirates. Oh yes, right away, ma'am. And, and dog. He runs and like tries to grab um, a box that's much too big for him, and he just like shoves it over onto a cart, and then starts pushing the cart out the. Truly incredibly. The All right. Um, should we help him? If you want, that's his job. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna try to like lift a box. Sure. Roll strength. I mean, unless you're picking a white box, but it has like fruits. And oh yeah, it's not gonna go. She got a 16, 16? actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, you lift it with little to no problem. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> She's just gonna walk forward. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> that way, towards the docks. Okay. She's just gonna help. So, yeah, I assume you're just walking. Yeah, I'm just behind her, <laughs> just like making sure that she doesn't fall or anything. She's probably been wobbling a couple times. She's like, "Oh gosh." By the way, uh, my character is downstairs. He got distracted by some stuff in the store. Okay, just shiny stuff. Got yeah. distracted. <laughs> like so, snow globes just, like, or he something. He just started looking around and found like just re weird stuff. Swords. The, the back door opens up, and you see the the gnome pushing uh, this this large cart of supplies out the door. Like you you're coming on the mission too, right? Yeah! Come, 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 come along then. Okay. This is your supplies. Oh, oh, sure supplies. <laughs> then you see the, the cleric come through, this little girl with like this big crate, walking it. <laughs> okay, I'm about, oh, we're supposed to carry these, and I just picked the one that was on the cart up. Can I do that? Uh, <laughs> if you I, want to. How big is it? It's, it's heavy, it's big for a gnome, but not big for you. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. You just pick it up, no problem. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> those gauntlets. So. He's like, oh, or, or you could do it that way. Um, all right, well, I'll just lead you guys to the airship then. Yes. Like, and he walks out and he's like, first day and I get to go on a field trip. It's, it's Are you nice. coming with us? Uh, I'm not going to go with oh, you, but okay. I'm going to go out and to the dock. Uh, shut the store down for a minute. And yeah. Flips the clothes sign and walks in. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> hey, it's olden times. <laughs> put, put that and lock the door and you're good. Are you so? Are you like Annabelle's assistant, or are um, you like no, in charge? I'm just, I'm just a worker. Are you in charge of that store? 
No, oh, just a worker. No, just a worker. Oh, okay. So when it closes like that, do you are is like you have the rest of the day off? Is it kind of like that? No, oh, I have okay. to come back and finish once once I drop you guys off. But you just oh okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah, figured out. All right. <laughs> it leads you through, and you come uh, you come through to this uh, to this large uh, large outward dock, um, and it's weird because it's kind of like two stories, and you guys have seen this plenty of times. You've never seen this before. Okay. But you've kind of been over to this area before, and so what happens is it comes to this dock, and then the side are steps, and another dock on top of it. And on the bottom is where uh, uh, sea base ships come in, and on the top is where the airships come in. Okay. Double decker like, dock. So ours will, be, uh, ours will be up there. He starts walking up the stairs and comes to an, to an airship. Uh, it's relatively small. It's like it's a little bit smaller, but it, it lets it go faster. So, and you see a few constructs on there, probably about five. And they'll run the ship for you, and uh, you have the map, right? Yeah. Um, and then you just point to them at which route, and he points out which route it is, and it's the northern route. Okay. Just is that like a color? Route. Yeah, it's like green. Okay. But just tell them to follow the green route, and they'll follow it up there for you. The green route, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then that should that should be all that you guys need. Um, there are a few. A few cannons on it in case in case they're necessary, but I know that you don't want the ship to be destroyed. So mm -mm. hopefully they won't That'd be, be necessary. Shame. It, the only reason they're on anyways is sometimes wild animals attack. Uh, but best of luck to you guys. I'm sure Annabelle will be will be willing to hear uh, for your victory. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah. See you, Gavin. Kind of <laughs> See, I'm just like yeah. <laughs> he's like 17. <laughs> yeah. Minimum wage. <laughs> Why am I? Animals? Yeah, I, I kind of, kind of, like wild animals in the sky, because that just sounds like a dragon. Uh. Don't worry, most most sky animals are fluffy. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> like a Pegasus. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. They are not. I mean, I've heard of them. They mm -hmm. sound fluffy. Mm -hmm. Horsey. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Cool. As you guys step on, the constructs all come to you guys and then line up at attention and then just. At ease. <laughs> uh, are you guys uh, combat equipped? Okay, so if we get attacked, not much is gonna. Okay. I hand the box. They, they look at the cannon and they go. I don't know what that gesture is. I think it's to use it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like pulling the cannon. One of them right. walks over. And like puts their hands on it and acts like they're pulling the cannon. Okay, don't do that. We're in a dock. It's, it's, it's a bad, bad signal to everyone else. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know evasive maneuvers? You know, like if we, if we get attacked in the sky, at least. Okay. All right, we're good. That's good, at least. I go up and I hand the box to one of the constructs because I never set it down. <laughs> Did you set your stuff? No, she's just been holding it, just like. Uh... She tries to lift it and it can't. <laughs> I just walk away. It's just stuck in it. <laughs> Another one comes over and helps them like, walk it over to a little cargo area. It's just like it falling down. it. <laughs> um, then one of them pulls up like a mini version of the map and just kind of points at it. Green. North. He walks over, starts pushing some buttons on what looks like the captain's uh, helm. Okay. And then pulls a lever and the airship starts to take off. This is really cool. I've never been on one of these before. Mm -mm. I've been on smaller ones, but I've not been a lot outside the city because they think I'd get lost. You've been on smaller ones? Yeah, just like around the city. Mm. Okay. The tour. Oh, so you've been on like the tour bus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the like, hover bus. <laughs> like field trips. <laughs> awesome. So you guys take off and it just kind of goes off in a, in a nice leisurely pace okay. um, out of the dock before it starts speeding up a little bit um, to... To run into pace, and you notice that it's like it like it's like the the arrow strip is developed into lanes in a way. And you guys are in what would be the fast lane. <laughs> so you guys are like going eighty on the highway. Okay. <laughs> the diamond lane. Okay. Um, the car how do you fire the cannons? Huh? Hmm? One one of them comes over huh? and like goes goes over to the goes over to the uh, the cargo mm -hmm. and then picks up a cannonball. Do you think that's a good idea? Wait, wait. I don't think we should be firing or anything. Cannonball. Are they that big? They're about. <laughs> the constructs are small size. Oh, not, oh, okay. No, the constructs, are not, the constructs are not big. They're small size. So it's just like... <laughs> and it takes the it takes the lever, or it 
goes over and it takes what looks like gunpowder, mm-hmm. and it doesn't pour it in, but it acts like it's pouring <laughs> it in, and, it, and nothing happens because you no gunpowder or anything, no you know. No gunpowder, but okay. And then I'll grab the gunpowder, put it in. No. Uh-huh. I'm like, don't worry, guys. I promise. I 100% promise I won't pull the cord. I'm gonna need you not to do that. Let's not. No, I, I said I would not pull the cord. Nothing about this seems like you're not gonna. You're do gonna it. pull the cord. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> snap. And then I, I cast the produce flame cantrip because I can. Uh, uh-huh. can, I try, can I try and like cut the the fuse? Uh, roll. How close are you to it? I was like right next to him. Okay. So. Uh, Say yeah, just... just roll attack to see if you can get like a clean cut of a. Uh, of something that isn't like. Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna hit him instead. <laughs> Not that bad. Not oh, that bad. no, it's uh. I just make a flame unless I make an actual attack with it. And then, oh, in which case, yeah. I have to like throw it. Yeah. I think, right? Although yeah. it's like in your hand. It's, yeah. it's produced flame, yeah. Okay, I thought, uh, you, I thought you cast it on the. No, no. It, <laughs> I just. Uh, I think that's what he thought too. I made Oh, like, wait. Little, I did a thumb, so the flame appeared on my oh. thumb. Okay. Oh, okay. thank I, God. I went like that, like a lighter. She's gonna gust of flame it so out, or gust like of wind it out. Yeah. Okay. She's gonna gust wind. Gust of wind like, it out. Yeah. Just like, please the don't. Goes, oh. And then you and cut it in half. Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't already like yeah. lighted. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. You you go to grab for your sword, and then she goes. Yeah. Don't do gone. that. <laughs> and I just kind of let there it will, go. Up there will be time for that later. Okay. Just, just, just not. We're still in, like in around other airships, you right? You guys are like, yeah. You guys are like on the equivalent of the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't shoot at the other. No, I was. It, I should have specified the side that's away from the ships. If it, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Oh, you guys are in the fast lane, right? So oh, like, oh next okay. You, yeah, yeah. Oncoming. Okay. If, <laughs> you would risk hitting an airship. Any one of those airships would have heard a loud bang and then been like, "We're under attack!" And then everyone would have, like police would have come. The sky police. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I see now how that's a bad idea. That's all right. Doctor so, so, Fluffy Bottom just so actually looks guys... just like disappointed at you. As disappointed as a dog can be. I'm just gonna go curl up in the bow. I'm just gonna be like sitting down. All sad. <laughs> disappointed dog. Colton realizes he doesn't know what the size of ships are. It's all good. It's all good. The front of it. You told me. You told me. I've told you the size of ships? Yeah. Someone told me the trick to it. It's kind of, it's hard to get like the perspective port, on it. Port is left because there's... Oh, sides. Yeah, it's sides. Size. No, yeah. Sides. Yeah. Port and starboard. Port is always left because four letters. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so you guys are going on your way, and could you roll a percentage for me, someone? Got you. <laughs> We're all like, does it want to be um, the one who does it? Uh, my favorite comment so far of the night. So our cast is Logan. Lo- uh, sorry, our cast is Logan number two, Spencer number two, and the Slayer of Jacob. <laughs> oh, got it. All right. <laughs> Trying to figure out who everyone was. Am I Spencer number two? Yeah. yeah. Got it. No, Paul is Paul. I was going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so what'd you roll? 16. 16. And Percent? Name Paul. Your name is Paul. No, it's Logan too. Um, How are you the slayer of Jacob? Alright, so with a 16. Uh, have you seen the most recent video? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was pretty funny. Got yeah. it. Wait. You guys are coming up. Damn, That's when we fight the dragon. Uh, you guys are kind of flying through. Yeah, seriously, no. Uh, luckily not. Um, you guys are flying through and nothing really seems to be going wrong um, until. Uh, down in the um, underneath of your ship, uh, you hear a small like sound, sound like a little like bang. Like we hit something, <laughs> we uh, ran over uh, something. I'm not 100 sure, but two of the constructs go running down. Can I, I'm gonna follow them. Me right. too. They're a little small, <laughs> so. Uh, you, you, you guys run down and uh, you come to the uh, underneath of the ship, and the underneath of the ship is kind of like flat with uh, with. Kind of, it's almost like an arena style thing where it has um, comes down on steps and then there's like a back end that's open but then it's uh, covered by walls and okay. the like and okay. you see um, if I can get it to remind me how tall are these constructs like three feet uh, four three feet? four feet they're okay. about gnome size. gnome size okay yeah uh, you see a uh, a creature a bird um, there. Uh, fairly, fairly large, not, not too big, but looks like, 
maybe young of its type, and uh, it's a large bird creature, and it just looks at you guys. I think it's stuck. It's got like its wings. It's like got its claws stuck in, and its wings are kind of like caught on the inside. And it's like, mm, okay. Uh, I think I it's stuck. Do you have any like spells that uh, pacify things? Rule animal handling. Oh. Well, I'm going for it. Um, I'm I actually don't... proficient in animal handling. Doesn't surprise me. I can hold a person, <laughs> but I don't think it's a person, isn't it? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, well um, it's humanoid. humanoid. Unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Cool. So you come up to this uh, to this bird, and as you're coming up to it. Um, you get a bit of a better look at it, and its um, feathers are a brilliant blue with uh, red on the tips. And uh, as you come up to it, it just kind of caws at you, and then you put a hand out. I just slowly muttered, Be this free, is mine bud. now. <laughs> uh, uh. And I curl up next to it. Can't. Do it. Yeah. How close to its face do you curl up? <laughs> well, where's? Wait, it's standing. No. So, so here's the thing. So you have this small entrance, right? And it's it's like it tried to fly in and then got its wings stuck. <laughs> so it's like literally stuck, just like this. Oh. At you guys. Okay. I like after it like accepts me. Mm-hmm. I like just kind of walk up and lay on its shoulder. Do you think we could like push it out? It's stuck, isn't it? We could. This is too adorable, though. <laughs> I am now happy curled up. Is it macaw in nature? What it looks like? Like a parrot. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks a little bit more, a little bit more bestial. But... Okay. Um. We should probably free it. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. just, if she gust of like, I can. <laughs> Gust it out, push it out. Um, I'm not strong. You could try it, yeah. Um, she's gonna gust of wind it out. Maybe just get Prometheus out oh, of the way. Oh yes, um, because <laughs> he can't fly. <laughs> That's right. Um, Prometheus, sir, hmm? do you mind um moving, possibly, so you don't get thrown out? Are you gonna try to push my bird out the ship? I don't know. Is your bird anymore? Um, Be free! And I just like <laughs> <laughs> shove it as hard as I can. <laughs> Roll strength. Be free, bird. Fly. So, it just strength or athletics? Oh, <laughs> uh, you can do athletics. Why not? Okay, that's. Uh, that's 16. No, 16? Tw- 26. Sorry. 26. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're like, oh, it's stuck. I got it. And as you push, you hear a slight pop, and then it <laughs> falls out. Oh. And it seems to be like catching its wings. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're all like concerned. Uh, you have a feeling that you may have like popped a wing out of place, maybe. Oh, oh uh, all right. But it's, it's, it's flying. Okay. It's not like falling into your death. <laughs> Inadvertently gets XP. You just, you just get an idea. You're like, something popped, but I don't know what it was. When you said pop, I just imagine like. It's like going in circles, like, like a helicopter that. Yeah. <laughs> no, mayday, right. mayday. And then uh, as you um, as you do that, though, as you push it away, uh, you look and there's like a little section of um, of the airship that appears to have like a rip in it uh, from the from the uh, wing from the wings. Okay. Our like airship has a are the rip uh, in has it? a very a very minor like like suture. It's not complete. It doesn't look okay. like it's completely cut through, mm-hmm. but it's like a slash. Right. You can see. Is that dangerous? It's probably not good for the aerodynamics of the ship. One of the constructs walks up and looks up at it. Just goes. <laughs> Just looking around. Uh, how big is it? Like. Uh, it's probably tall. about six inches, six inches uh, long, and it's not big enough to, to cut the. Oh, okay. Then yeah, if not, I. It's not, it hasn't cut into it. If I cast mending on it. That would do it. All right. It's the one spell I didn't take. Mending, mending, I won't need it. A beautiful spell, and everyone forgets that it exists. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, oh, I won't need this spell. I should take it. <laughs> Plus, you're like, oh, I see. Mm-hmm. And just, just yeah. Focus. Technically, in, in like everyone lore, the mark of the making makes these ships. Mm. So. And then the construct just looks. A little uh, bit, yeah. The construct just looks at you guys are talking, and he goes. 
<laughs> and then he walks back upstairs. I'm like, whoa, are you a wizard? Uh, no, not really. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. I know a little bit of magic. Stuff my, my dad taught me, but not like much. Like what? Because maybe we like trade spells, because I know a couple, like in a book, and also just like what I learned as a cleric, but like we could trade spells or learn things. Um, I mean, I really just know that one spell, uh, Mending. Oh. Uh, and then uh, uh, I pull out like a little... She's just like looking up at you like... It's probably like a pencil. I pull out like a pencil, uh, and then this is my wand, and uh, I would I would cast with it, but it would do some serious damage, so I don't want to do it. It's Acid Splash. It's my other spell I know. Oh, I don't know that spell either. Um, yeah. I don't know a lot of textbooks, actually. See, I can't really attack very well. I should have forewarned you guys about that. Um, yeah. Question for you. <laughs> do you have any weapons on you? She has a staff. Okay. One whole staff. <laughs> That's right. When I when I saw you in there, it, you weren't my first pick, but... Uh, <laughs> She's as, soon as, like... as soon as I knew that you could heal, I, I knew that you'd be oh, useful. Okay. Yeah. It's because I was his first pick. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, look, he's like dark and mysterious and he's got like a giant spear. So uh, it's it like... Kind of I also weird. have red skin and I'm going to be like, all right, guys, this might be a little bit of a shock, but I can control fire. Like, he's basically... Really? He's basically just, just Darth bit. Maul. So, like, why wouldn't I pick him? Psych damage. <laughs> <laughs> she wants <laughs> I'd be referencing Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy Walmart. You can control fire? You didn't see the fire come out of his hand? I mean, I, I remember that, but like... Just like, and then I produce some flame. And I'm like, and I can do a little bit more. Instinctively I... gusted out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Um, when you do produce flame, does it come off of your thumb? <laughs> I feel like he does. Yeah. One time it did. Oh, okay. All but right. the other time it was just like a ball. Of he does out of his right. fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finger play. Uh, was it unlimited power except with flames? <laughs> <laughs> did you know anything other than the fire? Uh, I can do in the night. Oh no. Was it burning hands? Uh, but it's out the back of the ship because we're still in the oh, docking right. area, so it doesn't pitch anything. Did you just waste <laughs> it? Did you just waste that one use? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then you see like a little flash in his eyes. Because he oh, doesn't okay. know when he lies. Wait, so, what? He lies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't know that, so. No one else would know that that was your tell, but that's his tell. Yeah. He's <laughs> just like shifty eyes. <laughs> oh. uh, do any of the constructs look like. They're like damaged. Okay. Well, this, they're kind of walking around doing their job. Some of them are going around like almost as if they have nothing better to do. They're just going around and moving boxes. Ah, uh, truly Walmart employees. <laughs> <laughs> just what they're doing. Just to, buy, just to buy time. Almost as if they're bored of this too. Truly the Walmart so. employee. Uh, if I can, I'm gonna look out for like another the the ship that we're looking for. I, okay, I don't know cool. if we got any specific details about it. Um, but it was described as what is essentially a bigger version of the ship that you're on, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm assuming they fly like an Annabelle's flag or something. Yes, yeah. and <laughs> if uh, if you look at the at the uh, the paper info, then um, or at the paper routes, then you would see that typically only one ship of each trade is on route at any given time. Okay. So you figure that if you see it, then this will probably be. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Is there a crow's nest? Yeah. I'm gonna go on the crow's nest and keep an eye out. Uh, I mean, you guys feel free to do whatever you want. Uh, what time um, of the day is it? Um, it's like, it's probably to edging towards <laughs> the end of the day. The sun's getting ready to set. Um, one of the constructs puts on a little chef's hat and grabs <laughs> a little package of food and goes heading off into a different room. All right. <laughs> They wear many hats. <laughs> <laughs> is it, yeah, is it his size or is it like, is oh, it too like big? Over oh, okay. Space. All right. But, but it looks like, it looks like it's a hat that he found. Mm -hmm. So he like cut holes into the hats. When he puts it on, <laughs> he can still see out. All right. That's great. Chef <laughs> uh, <Chef> bot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So he's like going to prepare food right now? Yeah. Okay. He took like, he took um, a little bit. So, uh, if you come over to see what he's doing, it looks like in the box are different like sets of food. So it looks like days worth, so to say, and it like he had like a small like set of those, so probably yeah. enough for it to feed you three. Uh okay. I'm still gonna be up in the crow's nest until they like ring a bell or cool. say 
Awesome. Yeah, uh, about 15 minutes past. Are you guys doing anything? Just be kind uh, of exploring. Just like, kind of exploring. be like, I oh. Can. You walk through and you open one door and there's three beds. She'd probably get into the constructs, constructs way a lot on accident. She's like, oh. Uh, and she's yeah, it's like, like, sorry. It's like, it's like as, as you open the door and you go to step in, one of the constructs is going to walk out. And you're like, oh, I gotta, I'm sorry. She just keeps apologizing to her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. And you're like, oh, there's the bedroom for the three of us. And you close the door and you walk over. Oh, there's the kitchen and the constructs making some food, like some, like a little cooked meat. Microwave. Putting stuff away. <laughs> Uh, One of them turns into a microwave. And you go downstairs and you're like, you're like, there's like the little like unloading dock, which is on the bottom. And you come back around, like, oh, there's where the uh, the flame that uh, produces the the engine for the airship is. So it looks like it runs on like like kind of like a hot air balloon would, mm -hmm. uh, but it runs like side like um, horizontally, so it's like blowing it out mm -hmm. instead of. And you're like, oh, there's the rudder controls. And you're like, oh, here's the control board. And there's just like a bunch of buttons and switches. Must resist pushing anything. <laughs> uh, there's just a bunch of buttons and switches, none of them labeled. Oh, God. <laughs> and then like a little like north, south, east, west little compass. And we're going north still? Uh, yeah, you guys are heading north. Um, and then that's kind of the ship. So so you have like the main ship and then like the three bed the bedrooms, the kitchen, downstairs, and then the control, the mm -hmm. control in the front. Um, I'm just gonna find the hottest room in the ship. I think it should be the like engine room or something. You go over to where the uh, the furnace is that's producing the flame, mm -hmm. and it feels beautiful to you. Feels and then I just kind of like sit down and I'm sharpening my glaive. This is awesome. my home now. <laughs> so uh, as um, each person in the party finds what they're doing, uh, a dinner bell rings. It, ding 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 ding. And, like a concert comes out with like plates of food, sets them on a little table. You can see this from the crow's nest. You look down, you're like, right. oh, dinner. There's a table on the top deck? Uh, yeah. Okay. There's like a little table, and then he goes like over up. and takes like smaller, smaller crates and puts them <laughs> to chairs. All right, yeah, I'll head down uh, and to at the, sit at the table. Awesome. Uh, it looks like kind of like meat and bread, uh, a little bit of like, looks like maybe a, a vegetable stew has been prepared for okay. you. So. Uh, and fluffy bottom. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you can't find your no. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, the corgi you can't find him anymore. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, be a very. It's familiar. You could just summon yeah. it back to you. It's a very <laughs> be a very see through soup. <laughs> uh, so what was the food again? Sorry, I was a stew. Uh, like, uh, uh, looks like a little bit of like maybe like like a beef and okay. then uh, vegetables vegetable stew and um, just some bread. Alright. Alright. Are there potatoes in this stew? No. Dang it. <laughs> this is a sad night then. It's like, it's like celery and... Everything uh, but potato. And, um, like you think you see some broccoli in it. Broccoli in soup? <laughs> These crumbsharks are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> is that such an odd thing? I just like come out and like, ooh, food. And just like eat it. Like instantly. Can you just like, inhale it? You just, you no, just take I mean, the plate and you go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm okay with that. Nice. <laughs> you Take it just walk like, back off. Do you walk back off or do you stay at the table? No, I'm just like sitting, just like off table. And then, Baker's just like amazed. She's like. <laughs> and another concert comes over with three little glasses uh, filled up with water. Oh, oh, I was going to say okay. wine, and Baker's just like, uh. uh it's not I'm, the best meal I've ever had, but. I'm going to wander off, actually. I'm going to look for something. I feel like you've probably sat there for like a couple minutes, but you just kind of get wigglier um, and wigglier. What are you doing this passive perceptions? Uh, mine's 13. Oh, wait. Yeah, 13. 14. <laughs> I think it's lower than that because my wisdom is zero. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably lower. Okay. Yours would be 10. Um, you notice that the water doesn't look necessarily clean. You, you, like, you go out to take a drink and you look and you're like, oh, it's a little dirty. Would I know if it would hurt me if I drink it? Uh, you don't notice. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you're good, you're good. Uh, but I don't have to destroy or create water. <laughs> would lesser <laughs> restoration work on this water? You could try. I will allow that to be something you can cast it on. All right. Do you think it would, it would just purify it? What do you think? I don't know. 
Um, what is blessed restoration? Blessed restoration removes poison effects, right? Yeah. Uh, it removes poison. Do you think this water is poison? It just looks dirty. So, she'd be like, um, is dirty water bad? Like, uh, is... I mean, it depends. Sometimes you don't really have a choice, so you just gotta like, tough it out. Mm. You know what? Uh, honestly, just all types of water, I just. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, why did you give me a glass of water? Like, push it away. Yeah. Do you not drink water? Would you not need to stay hydrated? Well, I do stay hydrated, just not with water. What do you do? And then that's when I wander off. There, there's like literally nothing else. How do you hydrate? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else is the office. <laughs> They're just like sitting there trying to figure this out. Like, <laughs> it's like, I drink fire. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna wait for you to drink it. Just be like. I mean, I would notice it now that she pointed it out, right? Yeah. All right. You can investigate it if you want. Okay. <laughs> uh, twelve. Twelve. Mm-hmm. You look at it. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it shouldn't like. It's not like. It's not like so dirty that you you can't like tell that it's water. Yeah. But, it's it coke looks, now. It looks like it has like a little bit of almost. Um, Does it just have particles in it? Yes. It's not like it's brown and like. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're like, Meh, I've had worse, and then drink it. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah. It's just like waiting. It's just good. kind of like. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Should, should drink it. Yeah, you're fine. So, the reason <laughs> I wandered off was to find alcohol. <laughs> uh, oh, this is how I stay hydrated. You, like, over, <laughs> and you walk over Doesn't to it, like the opposite. little. <laughs> The little uh, to the two boxes that are there, which has your food and water in it, mm -hmm. um, the crate that uh, that you carried over and the crate that um, that Vega carried over, and you dig through, and there's no alcohol. Was the ship empty before we got there? That's the only supplies that were put aboard. How far away are the other ships? <laughs> oh no! Too far for you to jump. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was just wondering. He's gonna sink uh, the ship. You know, you look, you look out, you see a ship kind of putting along 60 feet ahead of you. Look it's a grand ship. About 100 feet Go behind. really slow. Uh, the ship's slowly like coming across you like that. Okay. And how fast are we going? <laughs> oh no. About as fast as traffic. Okay. Because there's one grandma ship right in front of us that's going <laughs> 50 and an 80, and you're yeah. just like. Where are you finding 80 mile per hour? <laughs> Is there a way to communicate between ships? <laughs> Semaphore flags, do you have alcohol? <laughs> Need to You know what? <laughs> roll, no, no, roll investigation. Okay. Right? I don't know if your character would figure this out or not. He's, okay. like, he's like, cannon fire. That's how you communicate. <laughs> Semaphore flags smelling up alcohol. Oh, what'd you roll? A four. A four? Like, I can't find any way to communicate with these ships. Walk around, some cross, some constructs walk past you. You don't see anything. I'll be like, contract, tell them to get me alcohol. And I point to another ship. <laughs> <laughs> reaches in, into like its hand. Pulse it off. Oh. It appears to be like a little hole in the hand. I grab it and try to drink out of it. <laughs> That's cute, but no. <laughs> and then I walk back to the table. This construct has realized it's probably <laughs> come to the wrong person. <laughs> Alright, uh, with that, we're going to take a 10 minute break about um, as uh, everyone is. Uh, closing down for the day, uh, lights, um, lights go out, the sun finishes setting, uh, you guys have eaten, um, Prometheus has failed to communicate with, uh, fellow ships, and, uh, you feel like you're well on your way to finding these pirates. So we'll be, uh, we'll be back in about, I say, 10 to 15 minutes, and, uh, yeah. We'll be back. Easy roll of dice. <laughs> Easy roll or dice. I would have more effect if I could have done this quickly. Thanks They're for watching. Amazing.
Hi. Off your way. Welcome back, guys. Oh. <laughs> We're back uh, on an airship hunting down a, another one uh, that has um, some stealers of goods on them. They're called pirates. Uh, they're called pirates. Mm -hmm. so, on well, the heights, well, so. Privateers. Privateers, pirates. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, mercenaries who occasionally steal things. Yeah. Mercenaries yeah. who occasionally steal things. Acquire yeah. goods that weren't theirs. <laughs> Murders. Um, we just, you know, want something. Acquiring found goods. <laughs> so we're going to uh, uh, continue on. Um, we are coming to the second day. Uh, as far as you guys know, the the pirate the pirates probably had about a, a five to six hour gap on you guys. Um, so here on the second day, uh, you all wake up and um, I assume you know pop out of bed, walk outside. There's uh, eggs and bacon and stuff waiting for you guys. Um, as you step out, the bell rings. Like, oh, food, perfect. Oh, okay. It's the bell, it's the bell for food. It's yes. right. the breakfast bell. All right. It's the triangle one, not the alarm bell. Mm. Any of you guys want mine? I don't eat breakfast. Why not? Um, just for purposes of YouTube, do you guys sleep in your armor? Or any of you? I assume you don't wear armor. I don't wear armor. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just have clothes. I don't have armor either. She would take it off, yeah. She right. knows how to take it off and put it back on. Excuse I you. I wanted to make sure. I don't know. That changes things if something happens at night, so. Mm -hmm. It would, yeah, I know. That's what I'm just asking now so that it doesn't become a thing later. All right, cool. So, breakfast time. Why don't you eat? It's so unhealthy. Well, uh, I mean, I eat later. It's just, it's part of my diet. Like, religiously? Uh, or, like, I mean, I'm not really based? religious. I mean... I, I, yeah, I guess so. so I guess so. So you still eat breakfast, but you eat it like later on. Why in would life? diet be religious? Well, I mean, like some of ours, we don't eat a lot of meat. Certain meats, like we don't. Eat and then Prometheus reaches over, grabs your plate, um, and then his huh. plate is already gone. Yeah. He starts eating yours. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. <laughs> You'll eat later, though. Uh, yeah, I will. She's like, <laughs> you promise? Yes, I'm an old man. I have to eat, otherwise <laughs> things go very, very bad. I'll literally like fall down the stairs and then be like, ah, my leg, and then and then I'm done for. She's really worried now. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll be done for. Yeah. <laughs> you do know that means she's gonna follow around and follow you around until you actually eat. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. She's like she's worried uh, as she's eating. She's just like, please don't fall uh, her. Uh, Vega, can you give me a percentage roll for the day? What if no? That's a sixty-six. Cool, so as the day goes on, um, nothing of uh, true import happens. Uh, you continue to look for alcohol, okay. uh, I assume. Have you yeah. eaten yet? What What time of day is it? Uh, we're just kind of going through the day. By the time she has that, it's probably around noon. Uh, I, I will just start eating. Well, I'm eating too. <laughs> so you only eat lunch and dinner? Yeah. You're supposed to eat three square meals a day. I, but I eat a lot at lunch and dinner. Yeah. To make up for You them. have a light breakfast. <laughs> you, look at the, you look at the three plates and they all have the exact same amount of food on them. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> just like gives you some of hers <laughs> just in case. You, you, you need it. You're, you're a growing you're older, lady. But you're older. Yeah, but. You're weaker. I'm weaker? It, that's what old people are, aren't they? I mean, you just. What about you little just, girls? You would, you would fall downstairs <laughs> and hurt yourself. I fall downstairs and I can just get a bruise that I can heal. But I mean, you fall down and you hurt your leg. That's yeah. what you said, ow, my leg. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you break things more often. Uh, yeah, and it's harder for me to heal if I, like. Exactly, yeah. so you need more food. Uh, uh, no, I mean, I could use more milk that way in case I ever break my leg. <laughs> uh, just stock up on milk. <laughs> I'm going to eat my milk. You should keep yours, though. The construct comes up. It's glass of milk, man. Mm -hmm. Is it dirty? <laughs> okay. it, it's, it's clear milk. And it's clear, clear milk? milk? <laughs> it's water. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's milk. Okay. It is pure white milk. Yes, pure white. No chocolate milk. No All right, milk. I'll drink the milk. I'm like, see, I'm good. No chocolate. Uh, -huh. uh, I just kind of lean over and tap it on the shoulder and be like, "Do you know how to get a hold of alcohol?" <laughs> and then I take it and try to drink it. I'm like, oh, you don't have one either. What the heck? And then I'm just like, uh, all mad. Then I set it on the table and walk off. Do we see this? Mm -hmm. Can I roll investigation and see if I know sure, what it's doing? On. Okay. Is that investigation or perception? Uh, investigation. Okay. Um, you know this. All the constructs look alike, so you wouldn't even know if it was the same one, actually. <laughs> um, I, I uh, do. Uh, Ten. Ten? Mm-hmm. 
It definitely wasn't wanting him to try to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't have any guess for that. But. Um, he walks over and grabs the hand. And... I'm sort of just watching, curious. Uh, so, like, what, what's happening? Why would he want alcohol? Why would he? Yeah. Well, I'm assuming it's like, have you ever drink alcohol? Mm-mm. Mm. Mm, we need to get some alcohol now. Uh, <laughs> so when you drink alcohol, it has a sort of like burning sensation. And so since he's made out of fire, that's probably the only kind of like hydration that he wants. is something oh. that feels like, you know, it's burning. How do we get alcohol? Uh, I don't know if so we could help him. I don't, I'll ask one of the constructs. <laughs> yeah, how do we get alcohol? <laughs> All right. Um, have you ever seen them do this before? Mm-mm. All right. I know there's no alcohol. In <laughs> oh, do you say that as you like? Yeah. Uh, uh, and <laughs> you hear those oh. phrases louder. Okay, I'll, I'll like hello. It, hello. Out to the sky. Oh, does it sound like it's coming yes. off of our ship? Oh, okay, okay. Do you hear another ship? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can we see the ship that's uh, responding? You see a ship flying the opposite direction. The opposite direction. Yeah. So you guys are like. Hello? Yes. <laughs> Two passing ships in the night. <laughs> Is there any that's going, like, along with us? Uh, there's one far behind you. Uh, a good deal. Um, probably about 300 to 400 feet. Okay. So Do we feel like it would catch up, like, within the hour? Um, within... if you slowed down, it would catch up. All right. So, I walk back into the general area, and I'm like, I know I haven't looked, and I look up to the crow's nest, and I'm like, yeah. And I start walking. You snow off on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the crow's nest. <laughs> I was giving them a chance to, like, say, hey, Prometheus, we found out this isn't a flask. It's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody said anything. I mean, <laughs> you, you might be able to figure that out once you hear a big hello oh, yeah. come off of the ship. You hear that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just go over and be like, what the heck was that? So, you speak into it, it magnifies it, yes? Yeah, it seems like it's, like, uh... <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> it's a magnifying glass. If I had this, what would I call this? Magnifying um, hand. Big, boomy voice thing. A mega hand. <sighs> We're, we're called it a mega the hand? Best name. <laughs> <laughs> what do we call it? The boom hand. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, this boom hand, if you speak into it, uh, like projects your voice to be boomy and louder. <gasps> I take it and be like, He's already Can I get that? some alcohol? And if I say it really loudly, like, <laughs> Can I? <laughs> There's some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting for a response. You hear, uh, from, the, from what sounds like coming from behind you, uh, 10 gold per cask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm so, very confused on how we're going to get it. We just slow down. So yeah. they speed up a little bit, you guys slow down, Yeah. Oh. and then, like, two of the constructs look at you and hold out the hand. Oh, I give them 10 gold. 10 gold? They- they head downstairs, and then... I'm, I'm gonna follow them, because I wanna know what's, go, I wanna know what's right. going on. Yeah, yeah. I wanna watch this. And oh, then, uh, I'm also as you look, uh, as, as they come downstairs, you look, and the airship that's on the other side of you seems similar to you guys, as in that have like this landing bay. Mm-hmm. And then it just like, the front of theirs goes... And it like, reveals okay. this other construct that has a cask of alcohol, Wait. and it grabs a pole. Does it like attach to our open side? Is that no, what? Oh, it doesn't okay. attach. But he grabs a pole and do like a little ring and lifts it, and then... It's like a fishing <laughs> gun. Oh my god. Right. And then your concert goes and grabs it, and then slides the bag of ten gold on. It... It's like a... Wow. And then it closes, it's actually... and then go around you. I mean, it works, but I feel like there's a more efficient way. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure because they're little constructs, it's probably the least complicated way to do it. Yeah. By the way, the cake is gone. Oh, yeah. So is Prometheus. What? It's just, <laughs> like, just turn around, it's like everything's gone. As it's you return to look, you would see Prometheus and start carrying the keg off. Oh. Well, he got what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, mm-hmm. Prometheus. Yeah. Uh, she's never had alcohol before. Uh, what? Yeah. I feel like, you know, this is her first journey. We have to celebrate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Adventure! I waited until I was 21. Just to let you guys know. <laughs> um, however, I do not know that there's a legal drinking <laughs> in this 
universe. Yeah, 16, ten, right? ten year olds get wasted in this universe. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll just call it 16 for the purposes of this video. In I actual mean, medieval <laughs> times, beer was more sanitary than water. Yeah. Yeah. They just water yeah. it down for kids. Like that. I mean, like in... Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're using no, no breaking any laws here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we drink it all. Okay, I'm not drinking any of it, so... Uh, I... So how, did, how does this look? How big of a like, it's cast is it? Like, probably it's a cast, cast. so it's... Cast, like, you look and it's, it's probably... It's probably... Yeah, it's about... Okay. And it, it's like... It tastes... You pour a little... Tastes like a fiery ale. <gasps> All right. And then I like pour like a big mug for me and like... A <laughs> shot! <laughs> <laughs> They're going like... And a construct comes up. The mug. Then another uh, construct comes up with two more mugs and sets them down and stands at the tap. <laughs> and then I like pour them all out. I'm like, a toast to our adventure. A toast? So, a toast. when you're happy about things and you're drinking, you can all clink your, like, mugs together and then, like, and celebration. Oh. And then you all drink just all of it, everything in your cup. Do and I still have my milk? It's a rule. You yes. have to follow it. Okay, I'm going to okay. toast with and my milk. I fill up your, like, Mug like all the way to the top and uh, it to you. Okay. And then I'm like, cheers! She can't like cheers. reach it. She's trying. <laughs> She's just like, um. And then I. Well, um. <laughs> my character likes alcohol. He's also thirty. Yeah, all so down my milk too. <laughs> She's going to. Yeah. All right. Constitution check. Constitution at disadvantage. You've never had alcohol before, my friend. Probably tiny. Too. I know. Oh yeah, how much is this? How how big is this character? She's probably like five foot five. Five five, probably like what, like one twenty, one thirty, maybe. If that, she has to have a little bit of like muscle to carry that. that Armor, chain yeah. So. It was Constitution, and it's just a save. Yeah, disadvantage. What do you want? I, I rolled an eight. <laughs> eight. He's wasted. <laughs> That's strong. I don't know if you can waste you it off of that. Did you roll a one? No. I well. got a uh, nineteen. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's bitter. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not um, as you drink it, you, it does taste bitter, but then as you finish drinking it, it feels almost like a little bit of like a cinnamon like flame feeling in your mouth. Very warm. <laughs> I've got like a milk mustache. <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> On top of your mustache. <laughs> the construct looks with the, the uh, full mug. And then I'll take it and drink it as well. Uh-uh. Uh, well, give me a constitution check. Yeah. I'm using a different dice. I forgot to describe something earlier. Um, but I have like full tattoo sleeves, okay. and when I casted mending, they like glowed white. Okay, that's cool. Oh, uh, that's awesome. She's probably still like a little wobbly though. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Think. All right. Um, you are sufficiently drunk. Okay. Uh, you have the poison effect. Oh. Um, right. you are. You're just, just like a little buzzed. Weird. <laughs> she just like. But you, you're still alert enough to not. Yeah. So, uh, poison effect means you have disadvantage on pretty much everything. Okay. Um, Rip in yeah. it's, a, it's a little bit of a homebrewy thing, but it's like alcohol does that to you. So that's true. You, <laughs> you will have a disadvantage if you try to yeah. do something very wasted. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's what happens. Uh, the day start continues to wind down. Um, you have disadvantage on all on, on attack rolls and all ability checks. Yeah. So saving right. throws technically you would have normal roll for whatever reason, mm -hmm. but. Even like initiative is technically an ability check. So everything but saving throws, you have disadvantage right now. Well, but man, it's a good thing you have a cleric. <laughs> oh, or she could just be like, you're not drunk anymore. <laughs> but will she? <laughs> <laughs> you probably wouldn't know, but that's how you get rid of that. Um, would, you, would your order have had like people, drunk people walking in and like <laughs> the, the hangover <laughs> cure? <laughs> it probably would have, but it would have been like a thing where like the clerics are just like, so she never like learned that this is specifically why they do that. Okay. They're more of just like, gosh dang those drunks again. And she's like, what? And she's like in her studies. Um, so yeah, so, so the day goes on and uh, starts to um, wind down and dinner is served and we move on to day three. Hey, How are much you... did you drink? Uh... Did you drink, did you only, did you stop at the second one? No, I did not. Oh my god. Rip in peace. <laughs> you drink the whole cast. Roll for <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> Blood poisoning. Alright. Uh, have to revive this character. <laughs> give me a percentage roll. Or no, 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 no. Give me a constitution save. Not a check. So save. why don't you drink? Besides the milk. 
Uh, well, one of us has to keep kind of a lookout, you okay. know, just in case we come across the ship. So, just want to make so sure. Does... Okay, so the DC kind of for this. What? It's just so, like... <laughs> I got a natural 18 plus. But I'm sure, cool. like, just watching. She's like, up, does that? Like, ah, headache. Oh, right, just watching there. him squabble. She's like, ah. Right, so, uh, yeah, so you have, you have a bit of a hangover, but it's not so major that it doesn't, uh, that it, it inhibits you. Okay. So, um, day three comes, you guys out of bed. We're probably um, talking a little bit too something loud. I something I didn't think about. Uh, technically, your, your character, like, is your character cool with three beds, same room? Doesn't care. I don't know. I don't know what your cleric order is like. Is it just like boys are blue, girls are red, no purple, <laughs> or is it <laughs> or is it like we don't care? I think it'd been more of like <laughs> you know freedom of choice. Shouldn't do it, so be careful. And they probably told her the birds and the bees, and she's like, okay. okay. <laughs> so you grew up in this order. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so you guys come out and your roommates are served. But roommates are an old guy. Yeah, yeah an old <laughs> grandpa. And fireman. Yes. Uh, Nero, uh, give me a uh, percentage roll for the day. All right. Uh, 14. <laughs> Is that bad? Yes. Um, Usually. Oh. It means right. we're going to fight a dragon. <laughs> so as you guys are, as you guys are, um, you guys are coming across, uh, you're coming across the way. Um, all of a sudden, uh, Vega, with your passive perception, 14. you, you, uh, you're walking, you're kind of walking around, and you'll notice this actually because you're probably in the crow's nest, right? Yeah. Uh, you're walking around, and you kind of turn your look off, and you see some smoke rising, um, off of the trail a little bit, and then, uh, listening a little bit closer, you won't hear it, but you'll hear, um, what sounds like a magnified ding, 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 ding. That sounds bad. Um, ding, ding. there's an alarm going. Do you shout that out? Yeah. All right. Can I listen for it? Uh, sure. Roll perception for me. Okay. Prometheus. Uh, can I also <laughs> listen for me? Yeah, I was like, where, where are you? Eight. Eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. All right. So, uh, Prometheus, as you come up, you like an alarm. You look off, and you can see the smoke cloud rising, but you can't hear the alarm. Okay. I just can't can hear it either. I can see the smoke though. You can see the smoke cloud rising. Okay. I'll sigh, take... And it's about, it's probably about two to three hundred feet off, um, off of your guys' path to the right. Alright. Okay. Uh, I can't hear anything, uh, but I do see the smoke. Are you going deaf? Yeah, Wait, it's I'm my... sorry. Are you going deaf? It's my old age. <laughs> His ears don't work as good as they used to, you know. Um, Sight's you good, know, though. You would know it sounds eerily similar to the dinner bell that you guys have. So... <laughs> Dinner gone awry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you see Prometheus is now at the bow of the ship. That's the front, right? Yeah. The front of the ship. Yes. <laughs> okay, sure. Wait, the bow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to act say, like I do. You can say, you can say front, back, or okay. starboard. All right. So. Yeah, we're uh, mixing it up. <laughs> he's at the front of the ship with uh, his first cup of the day, mm-hmm. but his only cup of the day. For it's the whole. Is it alcohol? <laughs> yeah. All right. As you do that. Um, a construct goes over and grabs like a little mug of like this black like goop type of stuff. Mm-hmm. It looks like really really strong coffee, and pours it into your mug. <laughs> oh. I'll drink it. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go down from the crow's nest. Uh, fun fact: I don't know if you know this, but if you drink um, whiskey with uh, a cup of coffee, it staves off hangovers in the morning. Oh wow! Yeah. So you can yeah. drink because alcohol. You get a little bit more drunk. Yeah. So. <laughs> the, what's that called? Man, it's not important. It's yeah. like a, it's like a Irish solution or something. Like Irish this. coffee. Yeah, it's like it's something like tail of the dog that bit you or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, okay. I'm like adventure, and I have my blade and I'm pointing it towards the thing, and I'm like constructs that way. All right. <laughs> constructs look off, and are you pointing towards the smoke cloud? Yes, with my blade. And then the one that was at the helm pushes a few <laughs> buttons, pushes a lever up, and then one runs back to the to the rudder, and and it, your airship starts to turn and go towards this uh, this smoke cloud. Um, so as you guys come across, there's a little bit of a tree line, and as you come across and over the trees, uh, you see um, a little bit of uh, what looks like destruction. You can change to like suspenseful. I have it on ominous right now. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you see um, a little bit of what looks like a destruction uh, over the way. Um, you see uh, some constructs just laying about. Um, you don't see any people, which is odd, but, uh, you see, um, in a, some fire, a, uh... Sorry. A... <laughs> that's fine. You see a burning, uh, a burning 
what would you call it? The airship is burning, but it's not the the wood isn't burning yet. It's the like the hole. The not the hole. The mast. The the mast. Uh, cloth. The how sails. The cloth. The sails okay. of it. So the thing that would normally propel it appears maybe something went wrong and it caught on fire and they went down. That's um, why we don't use fire. You see, uh, like, ooh, pretty. I mean, you guys are using <laughs> fire to propel it. Um, That's why we're and, careful. Uh, the smoke is rising up and it just looks like the ship's broken apart in pieces. Okay, like you, like the main like, ship is the. The main ship looks like a few, uh, a good um, number of pieces from the hole have broken off, probably okay. from the impact. Okay. Well, um, should we go down there? I mean, could be people. Yeah, we should probably land and mm -hmm. check it out. Alright. Um, this know. doesn't look like our. Does no. it? Okay. No. So the construct looks at you and points to the ground. Yes. They find like a little opening about 50 feet away. Okay. And then the airship just stops. And then the <laughs> Good uh, luck. the entire um, the fire piece just kind of uh, aims kind of at a downward angle. And it just kind of slowly. Oh, okay. diagonally down. Hey guys, as it's going down. Okay. Well, as it's going down, I'm like, can I use the cannon now? Why? Let's make get survivors out. Uh, if that's like last resort. That's oh. like if, if there's a big monster and we can't handle it, then we retreat back to the ship and then we fire cannons on it. Oh right. Yeah. We don't want to fire on a down ship. <laughs> Unless we're pirates, but I mean yeah, we're, we're totally not criminals. <laughs> Do your eyes glow? <laughs> There's like a little flash. <laughs> like, I'm gonna inside you. Eyes. Oh, oh, cool. Roll deception. <laughs> I actually have advantage on deception. She believes you. She just... Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> you get a bad check. That's even worse. It was a 15, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a 14. Uh, I got an 18. Cool. Yeah, you're like... Oh yeah, this guy's not a criminal. Okay. I'm probably still suspicious, but I'm like, I'm like, hey, he's just joking around. So I, I would, maybe would just flat out believe you, because why would you lie? Yeah. Why would you lie? <laughs> so you guys land, and then like the uh, the bottom of the ship. Um, you know, I was telling you, it's kind of flat with like a wooden piece. The wooden piece goes mm -hmm. and just kind of slams into the ground, creating a little ramp for you to walk down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you look out, and there's just smoke pluming out above you, uh, and you see flames, and then directly, like, kind of off to the side of those flames, you can see uh, the hull of the ship, and the flames are slowly kind of traveling towards it uh, via the cloth. Okay. So I'm uh, just going to, like, kind of, like, trot forward, just, like, kind of, like, humming a little bit, and just go, like, right through the hole in the hull. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, going, you're just kind of... Uh, do you have resistance to fire damage? Yes, I do. You do? Cool. Um, I'm going to wrap still my. Still, give like, me a Constitution check. Oh, I also have a dark hood. Can I wrap that around my face? Sure. Give me a Constitution save at advantage. Okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna wrap my scarf around my face. Constitution save at advantage. Okay. Same. Scarf. <laughs> uh. She ducks down in her arm. What's a Doctor Fluffy Bottom doing? It, it's a, it's a familiar. <laughs> okay. I should probably have it stay outside. Um. Hmm. No, sorry. Uh, she'll probably she'll stay out, away from the fire. Cool. Yeah, dog. The, both her <laughs> and the dog are waiting. <laughs> are you walking through? Or no? no, she's gonna wait out further away from it. Okay. Uh, what did you guys get on your con on your con checks? Natural twenty. Also natural twenty. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you guys just look at each other. You nod. Yeah. And you walk in. Um, cool. We're probably gonna wait for the little girl. Are you walking in? Too, oh no, I'm waiting outside. Okay. I don't want to get hurt. You can man the cannons. Fire's <laughs> not dangerous. <laughs> Wait, uh, why does she get to man the cannons as we're running inside? So you can see it. So you guys go inside, and um, it looks a bit, uh, it looks pretty, pretty uh, ripped up. Um, pieces of the stairs have fallen off. It's all on its side. Um, and as you're looking, if you guys could give me perception checks. All right. Is it dark in here? Uh, it's low light. Okay. I'm it's gonna. Okay. Pull out, I don't, man. I don't know if this would work. I'll pull out my lantern and try and use it, uh, and hopefully it doesn't like make the smoke harder to see through. But mm. it has the smoke hasn't fully traveled into this area yet, so for right now that'll work. Okay. Um, the thing that's lighting up though is the fire as it's getting closer and it's kind of waving across. And that's what's lighting up and creating the low light environment for you. 
Okay. Because of the hole in the hole. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can kind of see via the fire on the other part of the ship. Uh, yeah, I just don't like, I don't, my character doesn't want to be in dim light, so it's going to be set for bright light. Um, so if you guys can give me active perception checks. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, question. Am yeah. I allowed to use passive insight? Uh, passive insight is not something that I use. Okay. What are we making? Perception check? Yes. So, I have well, dark vision. Yep, but that just means that it's easier for you to see in the dark. But it's red dark vision because of uh, my fire cannot see. Okay. So, I got a natural one, so I can't <laughs> see anything because everything's just, red. Just look, and you're like... <laughs> 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 this entire place is on fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm in fire right now. <laughs> this is I actually... am fire. <laughs> I have become fire. It's like, wow, uh, I see this 14. when I rage. 14? Yeah. Cool. Um, as you're looking, uh, you kind of look over towards the steps, and as, uh, under some of the steps that have collapsed, you see what looks like um, a body of some sort. Uh, just kind of see an arm kind of out, and then like a piece of cloth. Uh, over one of the other steps. Uh, so okay. it looks like it's kind of buried in what was a staircase. All right. Um, oh, I'm gonna can I, I'm gonna run over there if I can. If there's not, is there anything in the way or no? Okay. There's nothing in the way at the moment. Where is the fire at right now? Um. So, where are, do you know where Logan kept the pins for the board? I have markers if you just want to use them. Do you have one? Yeah. Cool. Wow. Well, hmm. Okay. So. Board map is not working, but I can describe oh, okay. it for people that are watching and draw it for you guys. Right. Is that that's the camera that wasn't working? Yeah, this camera that wasn't working. Cool. It was either that one or we couldn't see Paul's beautiful face. So. <laughs> I hear. Awesome. By waiting outside, she's just like cool. just waiting so, away from the ship for any people that are going to come. So what's going on <laughs> is you guys kind of uh, so you guys parked your airship kind of over here to the south. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what's going on is to the north of that, um, you have the other airship, and the part closest to your ship mm -hmm. is the uh, fallen cloth that keeps the ship together. Okay. Um, that piece is a flame, okay. while the busted up hole is not yet. Okay. So the flame, but the flame is slowly traveling across the cloth and like the wires that keeps it together towards the hole, and then that will. So it's kind of like soon. it's like we're walking towards the flame, right? Uh, when you guys when you guys leave, you'll be walking towards it. So you can walk through the flame, kind of, Got it. All right. into the ship, and then when you walk out, you'll have to walk around the flame. All right. And she's waiting outside, just in case you bring any survivors, so she can heal. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to um, Another thing that you <laughs> see is, off to the side, as you're walking through, off to the side, you see uh, a uh, construct that appears to have uh, lost an arm and a head. Okay. Um, so, oh, it's not very handy. Does it look... Okay. I'm going to go to the person first. Mm -hmm. Uh... And are they just like under a bunch of rubble, basically? Yeah. And, okay. Uh, they're not making any noise. They're not moving. So they're either unconscious or dead. But Can I check their pulse, like on the neck? Uh, sure. Give me a medicine check. Right. Um, they're they're you can't see their head, but you could check uh, on their wrist. Okay, that works pulse. too. Yeah. Because their wrist is kind of out over. Sweet natural twenty. Natural twenty. Mm -hmm. You feel a pulse. It's very faint, but you feel it. All right. Hey, uh, Prometheus, are you strong? You big buff guy. <laughs> And then uh, there's no time for jokes. I really need I need yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I don't help you. All right. Yeah. Help me. Help me. Get... Yeah. Um, go ahead and give me a uh, athletics check at advantage because he's also helping you pull him off. Okay. Uh, natural nineteen. If we can't so be what like. So with athletics? With athletics, it's twenty six. Okay. So just because of how many, how much there is. It takes a little bit to pull them off, but you, and eventually the uh, this body of this um, human in uh, what looked to be once nice, but is now tattered, like blue shirt and black pants, uh, is just kind of laying on the ground. Okay. Yeah, he's not and I'll pick him up and carry, run him out while you keep looking for people. All right, sounds good. Cool. So yes, yeah, so you <laughs> pick him up, fireman carry style, uh, carry on fireman style outside of the building. She, um, <laughs> she has like her staff. And then, and then as he pulls out, uh, you, see, like, you see you um, see Prometheus come out, uh, Vega. And then with I just throw him on, on the ground. And what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the ground, and he's just kind of laying there unconscious. All right, um, he's unconscious though. You heard. Uh, <laughs> 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 so and you, you look at his face, and his face uh, is just like ash all over his body. 
just like tattered, his clothes are in tatters mm -hmm. now from the destruction, mm -hmm. and he appears like one of his arms isn't attached properly, like it's probably broken. Ouch. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah. Would spare the dying or just healing? Um, spare the dying would confirm that he wouldn't die. <laughs> 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 All right, let's just go with healing word here. <laughs> Or uh, where's my cure wounds? There we go. We'll go with cure wounds. <laughs> cool. Uh, go and roll your healing. Great. Oh boy, that's so much. <laughs> One whole D eight. <laughs> that's a seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Feels you like broken arm, and he's unconscious. And so you like move the arm into position, and then put a hand on his chest and uh, cast cure wounds. Mm -hmm. He just he wakes up. Just, where, where am I? Oh, you're outside of your ship that fell, I think. Maybe because it's on fire. Um, my friend's got you out. He, like, rolls over because he can't. He, like, he's, like, not standing. He Please just don't move. <laughs> I just want to remember a cannonball fired. You I said guess. a cannonball? <laughs> we'll cut back to two. Uh, what is uh, Nero doing? I am looking uh, for either more survivors, and if I'm not seeing one, I'm, I'm going to the construct. Cool. Uh, on this um, floor, you don't see uh, any more survivors mm. or or dead people. Okay. And so you, you come over the construct and. Uh, Wait, do I see dead people? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Can so you? You see no dead. Um, so you come over the construct and you look at it. It looks like um, it has a missing arm and a missing head. Mm -hmm. um, and as you look at it, give me an investigation check. Okay. Only do I roll bad for the stuff that I'm good at. Uh, nine. I don't know. Nine. Mm -hmm. As you look, uh, you look at the way that the the head's cut and the, the arms cut off, and it looks like it looks like maybe it was something blunt that did it, which would I guess make sense okay. given what's going on. It just it doesn't feel completely right, but you can't put your 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 like finger on it. Your finger on it. Mm -hmm. Just like doesn't feel right that this is all that it lost, and I can't see the pieces anywhere. But yeah, would I be it able would to look... find? Him? Oh, sorry. Oh. Would I be able to find him? Right after, right oh yeah, you, you come back in, and he's looking at this body of this construct. Oh. Oh no! The construct died. Is it dead? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a sad thing. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I was gonna go up to see if I could I could check for more. Alright. Alright, cool. So so going up is actually going sideways. Yeah. Because it holds on its side, right? Mm -hmm. So. So you look and you find the door and you kind of, you kind of push it open and then go under, and you come into uh, what looks like um, the primary room. Okay. Uh, wall um, parts of the wall of this, uh, what was the wall of it, um, have, have broken down. You can see the outside on the other end. You can see just fine in here. Okay. Uh, because of that, and um, it looks like tables have fallen over, and there is another body um, on the ground about 20 feet away from you. All right. Uh, same thing again. I'm gonna check its cool. pulse. So you run over, you flip the body over, and it's a young woman. Okay. You check its pulse. Give me a medicine check. Uh, eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, you you can't tell. You're like feeling. You're like I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. Maybe dead. Checking its nose. It's possible. <laughs> uh, hey hey, Prometheus. Man, I gotta get a nickname for you. Do you think that you could take the body up? Just yeah. in case, I don't know if it's alive or dead, so if she's alive or dead. Grab it. Fireman carrying. <laughs> Just out. Alright. Perfect. And then as you're carrying this body out, um, um, you hear, and you would hear it too. Okay. Uh, you're, you're currently running through like the, mid, the midst of the flames. Yeah. The two of you would hear what sounds like a horn go off. Okay. <laughs> she has her um, staff. <laughs> have you ever dealt with, uh, with tribal... Before? Tribal? No. I guess no. probably like a city guy. Okay. Alright, cool. He's a uh, city yeah, folk. You, you hear a horn blow and it sounds, I mean, it sounds like a horn. Yeah. So, alright, cool. Yeah, so you run the body out. Mm -hmm. you, how do you, do you just... Please. Yeah. And then this body, again, falls six feet. Please stop doing <laughs> that! Um, and this one's a, a young woman. Okay, um, um, is she alive? Uh, you want to cast by the dying to see? Can I, yeah. You can do that. Yeah, you it's a cantrip. You the dying, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't look like you see breath return to the body. Uh, all right. Sad. You guys mean? Sad air horn. And then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, as, as, you, as you do that again, you hear the horn once again. Okay. 
Um, what was that that I'm hearing for the first time? There's a horn, <laughs> but a... Um, Have you dealt with tribal people before? Oh, is this like breaking your down? Uh, I'm gonna say you may have given your line of work. Give me a history check. Okay. Because you're a barbarian. No, I was a enforcer oh, right. for criminals. Yeah, you definitely probably would have heard. <laughs> definitely probably would have. <laughs> you almost if, definitely would have heard. This. If your history roll is good enough. <laughs> What's history? Is it intelligence, With intelligence based? Ah, uh, that's six. Six? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I don't remember what faction that is, but that sounds like a battle horn. Like, I know that much. Okay. I'm gonna not run back inside, and instead of saying that, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna, like, stay out here and take my glaive out. And I'm gonna tell Vega to run inside and get Nero. In Something the little girl. To the fire? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna look for more bodies. In um, also I'm just well, gonna go like look up to the sun. Yeah, that's the first thing I'm investigating. But I also want to know if I have like, a, there you go. if I have a general Firewater. sense of where the horn's coming from. Um, it didn't do anything. This so <laughs> if you guys' the ship is here, mm -hmm. you have the fire, right. well, and then the other ship, yeah. the horn is coming that from beyond. Yeah. Okay. From beyond. Okay. Uh, in the tree line. Okay. All right. I, so I'm supposed to go um, into the fire. And as you look, you don't see more bodies here. There is one more room in the captain's quarters. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the captain's. Cool. So you push the door open and you climb through, mm -hmm. you look, and there is another one, uh, an, an older man, maybe even about your age. Uh, okay. <laughs> old! Like, like, uh, face up on the floor. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna assume this is probably the last room in the ship, and then... It's the last one you can see. Uh, uh, it does not appear to be anywhere. Pick up, pick up the body, if I can. Uh, My strength is 11. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So as you as you come up, you, you just see like the face and stuff, and as you come up and look around, it's a halfling. Okay. So you're like, I carry you. <laughs> You're fine. Go through. And as you go through and you turn and you look, you see about seven orcs oh my come God. out of the tree line. Lord have mercy. I'm sprinting back over the <laughs> <laughs> You take off. And, so, the, and one of the orcs raises and whoo, blows the horn a, again. All right. Is that the third time? That's the third horn blow. Yeah. Okay. On the second. That's the second for you. I thought I heard the first one. And you were in the, the you were like one. in the middle of a fire. Yeah, you heard the second one and then now the third one is being lost. So that's the second right. one you've heard. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and and then as you run through they begin it's to okay. they begin to make their way into the ship. And then what are you doing? I'm sorry. So a while back, um, on the second one, mm -hmm. I told Vega. Vega to run inside yeah. and get Nero. And then I told well as I told her that I like put my hand in her head and I was like, Okay, there you go, now you're immune to fire. You can do that? No, I can't. Roll <laughs> <laughs> <Bold> deception. <laughs> She's just like, uh... It, can I have combat music on now? Or? Yeah, go okay. for it. 21. 21? Are you saying immune to fire? <laughs> that is the statement you were making. No, I said, okay, now fire won't hurt you. <laughs> and I told her to run inside to get me home. <laughs> do you want to roll insight? Please. But you, when I did that, you saw a flash of light. Yeah, but I don't have to tell. No, yeah, you just probably look a little bit shittier. <laughs> she got a uh, 19. You truly believe that this man has just granted you immunity to fire. But only for a little bit. Okay, <laughs> she's going to run in. Or she's probably going to like stop a little bit further, just kind of test it out. As you test it out and you get close, you're just like, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't touch Nero? it. Maybe I shouldn't touch it just in case. But I think I can run it. Because there is a way through the fire. Okay. Without yeah. touching it. Yeah. She would have done that, yeah. She right, just cool. like. As you're going through, give me a constitution saving throw. Because she believe you just, but she just feels to work. It's a five. Hmm. Alright. You code and you go in and you're, <laughs> you're coughing. Just a lot out of this. Uh, for the time being, I will say your uh, speed is reduced by five, and um, you have a minus two to strength checks. As your body is <laughs> trying to, like, yeah. like, like you can't adjust to this, uh, to this smoke. Well, yeah, I, I'm just laughing because she already has a horrible strength. <laughs> yeah, the bigger thing is the speed reduced by five. Yeah, minus right. five, got it. All right, cool. And so, like, you, you just put a hand over, and you're kind of coughing as you step in. Yeah. You see him with the body of a halfling, he's like, Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. to the ship. Okay. 
<laughs> Why? You're just hearing a horn. There's orcs. Oh, okay. A lot of you, orcs. You turn it, you like kind of peek down and you look through the thing and you see seven orcs with <laughs> these giant battle axes just kind of and walking. And then she through. runs away. <laughs> and some of them turn and like bash in doors, uh, like the door of the captain's quarters. Okay. Wait, are they're they going kind of looking. through the ship? Hmm? Yeah, they're going through the ship that's that's uh, sunk. But you you don't see it. They, uh, the only one that sees that right now is uh, Vega. Okay. I, I turned around after following very quickly. All right, you're following very quickly. All right, cool. You guys all you guys all run out. Speed. And then uh, a few of the orcs follow through. And uh, uh, how quickly are you guys just that's straight where you're going? Is just onto the ship? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I grab cool. our people. As you guys get we... on, as you guys get on the ship, do you follow? Because they're, they're, they they basically they're running and they run past you onto the ship. Uh, grab grab the man. Oh, grab the man. I would tell them if we're running past them. Like there's orcs yeah. behind us. It's cannon time. Grab grab the man. <laughs> On the ground. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I'll grab the people on the ground in the ground. Right, cool. we'll uh, yeah, you can grab both of them. That's fine. You're a big strong man. He's a big strong fireman. <laughs> like you're not walking your your full speed, but you're kind of okay. carrying them and you set them down, and you go to the you go to a cannon. I go to the first cannon. You go to the first cannon, and the construct looks and runs over and grabs a cannonball. And as they're doing that. Uh, three orcs kind of burst through and oh my gosh, roll initiative big. for me. All right. Oh gosh. And my dog, too. <laughs> Wait, does your dog fight? <laughs> no, but it has initiative. Oh, okay. That's right, because you held through it. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Uh, Vega, what's your initiative? Uh, hers is uh, 11, and Fluffy Bottoms is 4. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a negative two. <laughs> F E Um Nero. I got a twenty-three. Nero got a twenty-three. And Prometheus? Uh fourteen. And the orcs. I don't want. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh Nero, you're at first. Alright. Uh cool. Question. Sure. So I'm gonna use my longbow because we're on the ship. We're on our ship now, right? Yes, you guys are on. So, so you remember I was saying like it had like the bottom floor. That's yeah. kind of like the undocking bay. Mm -hmm. That's where you guys are right now. Oh, so okay. So you guys can take off and you'll be on it. Is that's what the orcs sound like? <laughs> is uh, we can't see the orcs from where we're at right now, really, right? Uh, the ones that the ones that busted out and they're kind of walking around and they look and they see you and then that's when I had you roll initiative. So you can see three of the seven orcs. Oh, okay, right good now. enough. Um, yeah. are, are any of our constructs near us? Uh, only the one that's grabbing the cannonball. The other ones are running over to start the ship up, so they're like oh. running upstairs. If they're already doing that, then that's that's what I was gonna tell them to do, anyways. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, so you you guys had all of them except for one. Uh, one of them went to grab a cannonball, one to get some gunpowder, and then the other three that you have are running upstairs. Okay. Okay, so, uh, actually, I think I already know the answer to this. Part of kin there's a Kinsai shot that says you can use a okay. bonus action on your turn uh, to make uh, ranged attacks with a Kinsai weapon deal an extra 1d4. Cool. But I can only do one bonus action, right? Because yes. I have two attack actions. Yes. Uh, how so, does it read, though? Uh, so I'll just read it to you. You can use a bonus action on your turn to make ranged attacks with the Kinsai weapon deal an extra 1d4 damage of the weapon's type until the end of the current turn. So for both of your attacks, you would get the extra d4 damage. Okay, because it says ranged attacks. Yeah, yeah all, right. all ranged attacks for the turn have the extra damage. All right, so then that's what I'm going to do. Two longbow shots. Awesome. Um, Roll your attacks. It's weird about having any attacks. They're within 150 feet, right? Yes. Okay. They're about, uh, I should say they're about 30 feet away. Okay. 50 feet away, I'm sorry. It's 50 feet from your ship to the other ship. Okay. Uh, my lowest is a 16. Um, both hit. Okay. Are you firing both at the same? Yeah, just at one. Well, yeah, just at one. All right, um, cool. Roll damage. So, it's 1d8. So that's, the first shot is 13 damage. Cool. Okay. And the second that's one good. is nine damage. So you, you take you take the arrows, and I imagine, especially being a monk, you pull out the longbow and then you pull out two arrows, and you just kind of pull them back together and fire both at the same time. That's right. And yeah. uh, one fires a little bit faster than the other. One catches them in the gut, and as he kind of reels, the other one gets him right in the heart, and he falls over dead. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just for your FYI. 
I have a plus two to my AC now, so in case they get that close. Cool. Awesome. Um, so that's Nero. Um, Prometheus, it's your turn. The, the <clears throat> construct comes in and pours the powder in there, and then they just look at you and they... How many orcs can I see with the cannon? Uh, you can see two of them. Uh, are they the two on the ship? They're the two that are making their way towards your ship. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so what's happening is you didn't see any more than these three, but there are in, there are in total, they would know there are in total seven. Four of them are still within the one that's on fire, but three of them have come out and have seen you guys. One of them was just killed by Nero okay. with a longbow. All right, well, now I'm going to slam the produce flame spell into the cannon. I'm going to, like, produce the flame and go. <laughs> or, never mind, I'll just pull the thing. Either or. Cool, yeah. You, uh, you... Pull the thing, and I uh, assume you're aiming at one of them? Yes. And roll, roll attack, and I have my own damage for the cannon. So if you hit, I'll let you know. Just let me know when you roll and you have dice roll. I rolled 18. 18 that hits, and roll, um, roll 8d6. Five. If you need to, you can just roll um, four of them twice. This entire bet, this is all... Sixes. Oh, okay. Right. Two, five. Sounds pretty good so far. <laughs> <laughs> we just vaporize this orc. <laughs> Thirty-one. You're just like, <laughs> someone to shoot at you. And as you fire, the the bolt, the cannonball goes straight to the orc and catches him uh, waist up, and all of a sudden, his legs are just there. <laughs> there is no more orc. And his, his upper torso is just completely gone. Like, you don't know where it went. Okay. Just um, got vaporized. Yeah, just, the cannonball flies off into the distance. This is why people are afraid of cannons. Um, so, um, you, Prometheus has like a long ponytail that comes down here and a goatee, uh, mm -hmm. and you see both of them are kind of like steaming a little bit. Like, <laughs> is a, a that little turn? brighter red, yeah. Right, cool, and the constructs go back to grab another cannonball and stuff. Um... I really hope Mega. that's not like... He's very happy. Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right, uh, she's going to cast Guidance on um, Nero through Fluffy Bottom. There's a dog next to you now. He, like, he, like licks me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you you can roll a d4 on your... What do I get it for? Um, ability check. So it's... Okay. Really, sorry, it wasn't... That's not what I meant. It wasn't Guidance, sorry. It was, it was Bless. <laughs> Same one, it's still the d4. But it's on an attack throw. Oh, okay. Roll. All right. That's what I meant to cast, and I just had the wrong one out. For, so four <laughs> attack rolls? Yeah. If I have two attacks, can I use it on both? Uh, yeah, makes an attack roll. Okay. Yeah, it's on, it's on that. Uh, Is it just until my next roll. turn kind of thing? Uh, it's per minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. But is that concentration? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, and then you're getting up onto the ship? Yeah. Right? Okay, cool. Um, the orc looks at the at the two dead buddies, mm -hmm. then uh, growls out in rage and sprints to you and will attack twice with his great axe. All right. Because they can do that, turns out. Um, that is a 10 and a crit. Uh, the crit hits. Don't worry, Fluffy Bottom is by you. <laughs> 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 it's still like licking your leg and you're like, this is really uncomfortable. <laughs> Rolling so low. Uh, I thought you said so well, and I got really so scared. <laughs> so low. Uh, that's, that's nine damage. All right. Um, as it swings down. Yeah. Just the first one. Across your... uh, the first one that I get that plus two with my. Uh, uh No, no, no. It's with it's called agile parry. It's part of kinsai. Okay. So they block with their kinsai weapon. So I probably like use my bow to like. Kind of look it out of the way. The yeah, and then he like, and then gets me on the way back. back. Across and slashes across you. Yeah. Ranged um, weapon isn't ranged anymore. And then, uh, and then he, he roars and, uh, and like this orcish scream. All right. That I will not care to <laughs> re, uh, remake here. Not over a microphone. And, uh, it's my turn? All right. Is he uh, on our ship now? Hmm? Uh, yes. He's, okay. He's right on the what would be the edge of it. Okay. And are we going up? Uh, you hear, it's still, like, you hear everything up. like starting to power on. Okay. So, um, I will 
drop my uh, bow, just kind of like okay. throw it back behind me, and then uh, pull out my short sword in order to hit him. Cool. That's two attacks. Yep. And I get a d4 with these? Mm-hmm. Okay. As long as fluffy bottom is near you. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to... Is it all right if I... I'm just going to roll one d4, because I only have one. So. That's good. Um... My lowest is a 14. Um, both hit. Okay. Fun fact, orcs are not nearly as dangerous as you think they are. They're just, they're <laughs> just scary looking. Especially for a ch- <laughs> cleric who's starting out. She's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy Watch is looking. Uh, 16 damage. Uh, how do you want to do it? Uh, so the first one probably like goes for like like just below his knee, mm-hmm. so that it kind of like brings him down to the ground. He's like on one knee, and then like the other one is, is like going for his throat. So like across and then back. Cool. So yeah, so yeah, so, yeah. so you swing kind of down and across, and he's not expecting it. And as he tries to bring his great sword down, you cut across. That kind of knocks him off of his rhythm, and he falls down to a knee. You cut just across and like slice slice across his throat about mm-hmm. halfway. About half deep into his throat, and he falls in front of you. And if I can, I just want to like kick him off the edge of the oh, ship. Yeah. You put your you put your uh, do you wear boots? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Right, cool. Just yeah, like so traveling. Yes, yeah, so yeah. You put your boots up against, and you just push, and it, he rolls off. And as you uh, take off, you see the other four orcs come bursting out, and they start to run for the ship. Okay. And uh, as they you can do, fire your cannon at uh, one of them if you would like. Can I fire it above them and stop them from coming out? Or, like, just fire at the oh, ship? Oh, I see. And, like, they start to come on. out. You want to try to fire it at the, the rubble of the ship and try to block their way. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure, give me an attack roll. Okay. That's a very smart thing for a mm-hmm. barbarian to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> at the time... No, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. What, what's your... That wasn't meant to be a dig. That's actually a really cool idea. Like no, that. he was just shooting the ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> like, he, he didn't know the orcs were coming at. He was just oh, shooting okay. it because he didn't see him coming yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, So what was your... Uh, uh, four. Four? Yeah. Cool, yeah. So you fire, and it, and it hits to the side. And the orcs burst out still. Oh, okay. And... They I'm just so happy. <laughs> Not roll. Uh, one of them, as they're running... They all jump as the ship's going up, and one of them grips on and pulls himself up. All right. And that's his turn. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> there, um, are you doing anything? I want to cast Grease. Yeah, Grease <laughs> pulls himself up. All right, uh, what does Grease do? It's a dexterity save of 14, um, and it turns into difficult terrain if they fail it. Oh, uh, yeah, they, they fall prone. All right, cool. Uh, he gets, what's your save? 14. He gets a 7. And as he pulls himself up, all of a sudden it gets really slippery. <laughs> falls off oh, the ground. No. And that's about probably about a twenty foot drop and you hear. Uh, oh. <laughs> and begin to fly back off. Is the so, grease on me too? No, just on the, the ground. Um, okay. Before we fly all the way off, be- a little bit of fire at him. <laughs> just sure. to be mean. Just to be mean. What are you, what are you casting? Uh produce flame. Sure. Throw the flame at him. I'll let you guys know, grease is not flammable. I got an 11. Uh, you throw the fire, and it hits beside his head. Oh. Can I do something if I see that fire? <laughs> sure. Uh, how, like, is the fire, like, is it catching on anything on the ground? Can uh, I see? It's, and it hits uh, a little patch of grass. Okay, but I, I can see that you it's can like... See, yeah, you can see that it's kind of... All right, I want the grass a little. to, if I can, uh, throw a flask of oil. Onto the flame. <laughs> roll a dex. Okay. To get it accurate. Gotta. You can roll a dex attack, but without proficiency. Uh, so just add your dex. Okay. Gotta make sure these orcs are dead, guys. Just gotta put it out of its misery. That's good. 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 22. 22? Yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, I see. And you throw it down, and it catches, and it right on the orc. And you hear a bunch of screaming that turns into not screaming. As you look down, and the orc is just 
looks like he's run across and then <laughs> fallen flat again. All right. And he's just like a burning carcass. But he's like, is it alive? <laughs> is it alive? And yeah. you fly off. Probably not. Oh. You fly off back north towards your route. Um, we can change the music. Oh, now, yeah. If like. And then, uh, did you, did you carry both of the bodies on? Yes. All right, cool. Um, so there is a, on this, this bottom part of the ship, there's um, a man who's kind of sitting up now. Mm-hmm. He's what? I just, I just heard a can blast, and he looks, and he's like, oh, you, you got them too, and he runs over to the woman. He's like, is she, is she alive? She didn't make it. She's like, fighting back tears. And then the halfling wakes up, and he sits up, and he's like, what? What? The, what? And how hurt does the halfling look? Hmm? How hurt does the halfling look? Uh, he's an older man. He's got some blood running down his head from a wound on his head, right. and it looks like uh, looks like some blood on, or his clothes also are tattered. Um, all three of them, the clothes are tattered from the. Right, he's like, what? What happened? I didn't. I didn't. She's just gonna cure wounds on him, and then you. Go you cure wounds on. Yeah, him. you're hurt too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get a you get a My cure bones. wounds at level two, because <laughs> it's also a seven. And as you do that, you see the, cl- the wound close on his head. Thank you. And you get a cure wounds at he come, he, The halfling kind of stands up and he kind of hobbles over. It looks like he probably just has a bad leg. He, he grabs something. He grabs like a stick that's probably used for the gunpowder. He grabs it and he, t- and he uses it as a cane to walk over. And he looks down and he sees the fire. He's like, that was my ship. Um, excuse me. That That's for the boom boom powder. That That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't use that. And yeah, I take it away. Five health. Take we, it away. Oh, <laughs> we have, I'm just kidding. Five right. health. You, you like go take it uh, away and you give it back to him. Yeah. Hang on. I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm just kidding. Here. I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, it should be six health. Looks, in, okay. looks up at you guys. So, who do you guys belong to? Uh, this ship? I mean, well, so we're flame, but um, I'm, I'm a. We're sort there. of like freelancers working for Annabelle right now. Sorry. Well, thank you for rescuing us. I don't, know. I don't know what just happened. The last thing I saw was one of her ships before we went down. Like, um, you saw the ship? The ship? Uh, well, we're sort of, uh, we were hired by her to track down a rogue ship that has been, uh, captured. I see. I see. So, we're gonna kill all the guys oh, yeah, that you know, you're, brought down you're your ship. Full. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, I forgot right, well, to add which one of you other are, Which one of you is the captain here? Um, of this ship? Yeah. That little girl right there? Yes, uh, that she is the captain. I think I'm, um, no I'm not though. He walks up to you and he holds a hand out to shake it. Um. Like, <laughs> my name is, uh, I can't think of it. <laughs> uh, he has amnesia. My name is Donahue. Thank you for, thank you for rescuing us. Um, well it was actually my friends that saved you guys. I just did the healing. I mean, I still messed up on your other friend. She's not made it. Um, I'm sorry. It's too bad. He looks over at the two, and the the man has kind of taken the woman up in his arms, and he's heading up. (laughs) She's like trying not to cry this entire time. She's kind of failing, kind of crying. (laughs) Jeff was very fond of her. Great, she's kind of ruined it even more. And then Prometheus like wanders off again. Um. I don't know if we have enough rations. Um, Nero, do you think we'd have enough rations for two people? I mean, we we did bring two crates. Pretty sure. Um, you guys would you guys would know like kind of looking through the crates. There's food for probably a two week journey for the three of you. So, if you get the job done as quickly as you're supposed to, you'll be fine. Yeah, I have my own food too. If we need to. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> you have your own. Oh yeah, I have rations too. Um, we're going after pirates. Um, probably the ones that. Hurt you? Yes, I. That's what. If it was uh, Annabelle's. Frank said. Yeah. Do you see what direction it came from? Uh, it was. It was behind us. About. About. Uh, what time is it? And he looks up. He says, "The sun." Like, sunrise. It was behind us. It's midday now. It was probably two. It was probably about four or five hours in front of you guys. Mm. So, I'm not much of a fighter anymore, but... No, you don't have to fight. Don't worry. He, he reaches down, and he, 
and it's in a, into a, like his pocket. He pulls out a ragged book, and he opens it up, and he's like, "Still not use this. I want to help you guys." What is that? It's a spell book. You would recognize. I'm it. asking him. Oh, he's like, <laughs> "Oh, this." And back back before I became the captain of the, the airship, I used to freelance as a wizard. It's an exciting story. How a wizard goes learned. to being a a captain. I learned how to be yeah, sort of do the, kind of stuff. You do the right things and help the right people, and when you retire, you can live a life of sitting on an airship. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've always kept the book just in case I needed it. Didn't think I'd need it for something like this. Well, uh, <laughs> you're welcome to join us on this. You may want revenge. Gained a gained party member. Party member. Ding ding ding. And then oh, Domitia shows up again with uh, the, the alcohol. And he's like, a somber drink for everybody. And he has like five con constructs behind him, <laughs> each with a mug. And he like fills them all up and then takes one. And the constructs all go out to everybody. Wait, they all what? Go, go. out to everybody. Give, oh, okay. Give the alcohol, give the, give the drinks. Mm -hmm. Here's the question though. Is this guy a party member that's going to be helpful? Or is someone else you have to protect? <laughs> and he's like, He's like, uh, Jeff up there, um, he's not well trained, but he knows how to use a sword, if you guys have one. Uh, a sword? sword? I have an extra one if, if he needs it. It's his own decision if he wants to go go over there with us. Are we, are we just going to sink the ship? Or? No, the, the, we, we have to capture back. the ship capture. and the supplies. I assume, I assume. So we're going to go in probably. and brutally murder all of them. For what? What? Hey. No, I'm just kidding. How? Drink, drink your juice. <laughs> just drink your drink your fun juice. Uh, Prometheus, do you have like any like this is gonna this is gonna sound rude because uh, I don't have any other word way to say it. Uh, uh, do you have any like subtlety about you? Like, can you be subtle? Uh... I'm only asking because we might be able to sneak onto the ship and kill everyone without starting a big ruckus. So should uh, should Jeff and I act as backup? And that fails? Uh, probably. And you can keep an eye on the captain. He flips, he flips open, he flips open the, um, a page in his book, and, uh, for Colton purposes, I will say this spell will let me, uh, teleport to two people, about 30 feet. You, you look at it, and you recognize it, because some, some, you're, the person that's how you magic, uh, knew the spell, it's, um, an altered version of Misty's death. So, he can use it to teleport, he's like, I can use this to teleport Jeff and me if, uh, if need come for help. Okay, that'll work. Well, you see, can you, how how many times can you use that? Uh, only once. Oh, okay, never mind. The so thing you... about my fighting style, mm -hmm. it doesn't scream subtle. Yeah. You scream. Well, I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, cause I, whenever I'm fighting, I get all mad, mm -hmm. and then like stuff around me starts to like melt and like get a little hot. You shouldn't do that on a boat. Well, no, here, I'll show you guys, and I'll go over to the mast, and, like, start, like, getting really mad, and, like, and in a rage. And then what happens is, anybody in a ten-foot radius around me, which I'll get ten feet away from everybody. Uh, He's, like, measuring it out, too. <laughs> takes One, three damage per two, turn. Three. Cool. Is it just people? I think so. <laughs> oh, God. I can already see where he's going. I, I know. <laughs> On a wooden boat. I'll double check. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I think it's just people. Um, sorry, I need to find this real quick. It's, it's, in, it's in feet. No, uh, what was it? It's not in the player's handbook, the Storm Herald one? No. It's gonna be in if you're on D&D &D and Beyond. You know what? For for this purpose, I'll say that it's it's only people. Just because, that. and like as you guys get a little closer to be like about ten feet away from him, you feel like a bit of heat emanating from his uh, from his body. Out and pretty far away from him actually is quite impressive. Oh, so that's what you that meant by impressive. That lasts for a few seconds, and then it fades away. Then he calms down. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be useful. So, are you guys gonna try to sneak on? Or? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's. I don't know if there, there's probably not even a way to sneak on when you're pulling a boat right up to another really? ship. <laughs> it's like, that, that's hey, true. where's that? 
It's that other boat doing? You could go underneath it. Like it isn't one of those uh, camera collage ships, is it? No, I wish. That'd be cool. We could go underneath it. I don't think it. trade ships have that. Uh, underneath it? Yeah. I still feel like that's pretty noticeable. I mean, we duck down and then come up from up below. We could. No, there's no way they're going to fall for that. Let's say what we could do is we could, we could act like we're getting alcohol from them <laughs> and performing a trade and then just jump onto their ship. So he looks up at the mast and it would take some time, but you could always change that to a, to a general design instead of one of animals. That's a good idea. So then they wouldn't know that you were part of her crew. What? They attacked you though, right? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. So they didn't attack anybody? Well... They may have, may have seen us as a threat and they have thought we'd call them out. I don't know. How do the ships move forward? Fine. Um, as you as you look, you, you realize, you're like, oh wait, I saw this earlier. Um, in the back of the ship, there's like a furnace, and that furnace uh, spews heat up into kind of like a, a spout that spouts the flame, the, the hot air, into the balloon and propels it forward. Okay. So basically, it's, so it's kind of like a hot air balloon, but working horizontally instead of vertically. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what we could do is aim the cannon really carefully and then just shoot the pipe. You like that can a little too you, much. You want to be able to shoot the pipe that but gives we, them uh, propulsion. So that's really it. hard to hit. So we and we need that's this. That's why I said really, goal to really take the ship down. Was your goal to take the ship down? No, we don't want to take the ship down. That'll just like stop it from moving forward. And it will go down. And it will go down. If you oh know. right. Yes. Uh, uh, hey, can I roll history to know if I know like any neutral parties that I can make the flag into? Um. Sure. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, there's just kind of a general uh, merchant's guild that hangs out, um, okay. that, that kind of hangs around, uh, kind of like the equivalent of um, general goods, but but it's just they take surplus of everything. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Annabelle's uh, thing, actually. Except they'll take it from, from Kmart. <laughs> well, they'll they'll take it from places that need. Uh, uh, a lot of goods traveled, and it's just literally a traveling um, Grubhub. Kind of like Grubhub. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, you need us to deliver some of your stuff for you because you don't have a ship for it. Yeah. We'll do that. It's, for it's you. just like a generic Grubhub. Yeah, just trade like ship. a trade yeah. ship. Okay. That will, Fantasy that will Grubhub. Goods for them. Uh, all right. So I have Weaver's tools. All right. And you let me know if I can. Possibly um, alter a uh, flag. Sure. So you climb up to the crow's nest, and there's the flag, uh, kind of. So alongside, so the way that this ship works is it's an airship, and then um, on the side is where the crow's nest is. So it's not in the center. Okay. It's on the side of it, so that it's not interfering with the balloon portion. Um, so you climb up onto the crow's nest, and the flag is kind of hanging on the top of the crow's nest, mm -hmm. and you untie it and pull it down and you can take your shot at weaving a new design into it okay so um, there's that would be dcs for this okay uh there's repurpose cloth there's mend a hole in a piece of cloth and then tailor an outfit um what's the dc for uh repurpose cloth that's the 10 that's the 10 mm -hmm. what is it for mend for outfit that's 15 15 um i'll say that you're technically repurposing cloth but i'm going to make the dc 15 it's probably a little harder yeah because it's it's thick. Um, do I get? So yeah, so you're you're like you're like looking and you can see where the stitching is for for her design. You flip it around and you notice that the stitching is equal on both sides, and so it looks like it's it looks like it's a flat piece of blue cloth that had the design stitched into it on both sides. So you can pull that design off and then repurpose that to make a general design. Okay, cool. Um, so let's roll that. Would you good. like guidance? Oh, <laughs> no, good actually. Uh, Twenty-one. Cool. Yeah. So you, are like, oh, I see. And then if I if I cut this piece and I pull this off and I fold this over this, and you end up making what looks like a basically a triangle okay. out of it's just a duck. Yeah, you're making a triangle um, out of her symbol, which was originally uh, two swords and a shield crossing. Mm. Okay. You, you fashion that by cutting pieces and re repurposing them into triangles on both sides, and now it looks like a super generic. I did, and you yeah. climb up and you retie it back on, and it's now a generic 
Uh, we'll go. Okay. All right. So I'll climb back down. Um, could be a little more incognito now. Mm-hmm. Uh, still don't really have a plan once we catch up to the ship. Yeah, I think we still need to catch up, don't we? How is that? How is that like alcohol trade idea? Good, bad. Any other ideas, <laughs> Captain? Um, I don't know why you made me the captain. I don't know why you made me the captain. <laughs> I don't know if you have the most experience. What? What? So, here's an idea. We bait them with our ship, okay. so they come attack us, because they're pirates, right? They like to, like, take over ships. Yeah. So, go up, act like we're all helpless, and then when they get on, I'll meet them with, like, you guys supporting me from far away, mm-hmm. like, shooting them with stuff. Okay. And then I'll just, like, melt their faces off. That sounds great. I like that plan. Why would you want to melt their faces off? That's really aggressive. <laughs> uh, we just have to hope that they don't shoot us with cannons first. Ah, uh, yes. Like they did with the last ship. True. Uh, Wait, and what? then I'll walk over to the other, the captain, and say, did you guys, is, did you have a large crew? Just the three of us. Okay, never mind. Constructs. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's almost as if they had the same amount of people as us. Yeah, uh, I know, it's, it's crazy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I damn should never Everybody admit that. <laughs> well, we still have a, a day or two. Um, a day? He said it, they were four hours ahead of us. Very true, yes. Very well, right. at the speed that you guys are traveling, we'll probably catch up in sometime tomorrow. Well, okay, never mind. Full day. <laughs> we, that means we can prepare. <laughs> Spell slots. Yeah, they're that far ahead of you, mm-hmm. but they're still going. Yeah. So it's like trying to catch up, but yeah. it's just like they're still going. So okay, mm-hmm. got it. Um, okay, I get that the captain is the one that understands. Yeah, she's <laughs> way smarter than me. <laughs> she's just like no. <laughs> no, doesn't understand anything. <laughs> he he kind of goes upstairs, and sits on a chair or crate. <laughs> we don't have more beds. Yeah. You let him keep his stick, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. I gave it back to him. I need to look at some of these. And then remember how they work. Yeah. <laughs> Might be time to get back into fight old man. One more, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, are you guys coming back upstairs with him? Mm-hmm. As you do, uh, you see in the corner, um, Jeff, uh, kind of creating, like, a pseudo-coffin, like, out of crates. Just gotta rub it in <laughs> for me. Uh, for the woman. <laughs> This is the other guy that we saved? Uh-huh. Okay. She doesn't have Revivify yet. <laughs> this is unfair. <laughs> this is biased against an underleveled cleric. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, um, so. Well, she just kind of go over to Jeff and say calming words that I wouldn't be able to think of right now, but uh, she's going to be like, you know, in the, in the flame, you know, they'll, she'll always live on. Roll a... Oh, God. Persuasion? Persuasion. I, okay. Just kind of to persuade him to not feel horrible. You can do persuasion. <laughs> well, I mean, persuasion's the only real check I can do. Oh, yeah. Or a generic charisma In- check. Intimidate him. <laughs> no. We'll go for the persuasion. I have a, uh, that is a 13. A 13? Yes. This kind of size of this. Yeah. I guess so. Never would have thought that that's how it would end. Getting blown out of the air on a merchant trail. Hmm. Where's this guy? Uh, he's on the other side of the uh, other side of the ship. Okay. I'm so as you guys, there. you guys come upstairs, you would see him over there, and then the old man's kind of off to the other side, flipping through the pages of his spell book. Yeah, this is all you. I'm not there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, she's just trying to trying to console. It's, this is time for interaction. That's why it's set up like that. <laughs> yeah. We just listens when we. Uh, when we get back, I'll, uh, I'll make sure that she's buried somewhere. We'll talk to her family, I guess. I I I am a cleric. I mean, uh, we I have my temple. We can we can help you once we get home. Yeah, that would be be helpful. Um, I'm Jeff. There you go. I'm apparently the captain. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh huh. Thank you for rescuing us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she's just like. Where is everybody else? <laughs> Do you guys have any extra weapons on board? I heard, I overheard you going after. Yeah, the pirates. Nero, do you, do you know where we have weapons? 
I don't know if we have any extra weapons on the ship. I have an extra sword. I don't have extra weapons. Would you be willing? Yeah. Who <laughs> takes it? Like, I mean, takes. I assume you have a sheet for it. Uh, no, I don't. Really? These are. The, okay, technically, these are hook swords. I don't know if you know what those are. Yes, they they are. Are. yes, yes they, that's what they are. Um, so we don't really have a sheet. Before, right? I, I'm gonna hand it over to him, like, like in honor, okay. basically. He'll take it. Like, never used one of these before, but. Can't be too much different from a regular sword. Uh, no. Just, you know, mind the hook. Don't get it caught in things. More, more hooky. If you need to, you can always, like, uh, the, the end's pointed, so you can just kind of, like, punch yeah, he people. Take, he takes that, and he kind of finds a way to hook it to his side. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the day comes to an end. There are now five plates of food, five little crate chairs, and uh, everyone awakens for the next... Morning, what about the beds? There's only three beds. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sleep in the engine room. I'll just bring like a cloth and like tie it into his parts and like make a hammock. And then, um, can I do something like during dinner or like the after time of dinner? To I want to, I have painter supplies and I just kind of want to use them to, <laughs> like, sure. to make like a portrait of, of the crew and the ship. Will that be the five of you guys? Uh, or the three of you? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do everyone and, and some of the constructs. Sure, give me a. Intelligence check, if you would like. I don't know. What do you want to roll for that? Uh, like, can, give me, give me what you want to roll for that. No. I would say dexterity, just because it's like you know, sleight of hand. So sure, I'll give you sleight of hand. Okay. Sleight of hand. Like all the constructs are gonna be like. Wait, are we posing for this, or are you just gonna paint it? It. Well, I would need like at least a brief image of you all being together, or, or like okay. in position. Yeah, so I'm gonna I have like it. all the constructs like on me, because I didn't <laughs> want any of my picture. Just like the king of constructs on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> You've gathered them all around and you're like, my children. Well, they're like loading my cannons and making my voice loud. That's like awesome. For like, for me too. It's like, you know. Uh, I got a 14. Cool. Yeah, you do it. And as you finish it up, it looks a little rough. It's not like mm -hmm. the most detailed, but it's not stick figures. Yeah. So like, you don't have, you know, you don't have a super detailed background. It just looks like a wooden back backdrop. You have uh, at least depictions of all of them, but it's not like the most like yeah person to person. It doesn't look lifelike, basically. It doesn't look super lifelike, but it's it's more of like a cartoony okay. style. It's anime. <laughs> no. It's pretty no. damn anime. <laughs> no. And you're like, ah, uh, that'll do. I rip it up and we're in it. Like, what have I created? <laughs> Never <laughs> again. <laughs> Alright, that's what I do. Is, is yeah, so you guys, you guys go to sleep, wake up the next morning. Um, unless there's anything else you'd like to do. Prepare. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you guys prepare spells, uh, work things out. I'm like um, sharpening my weapons. Uh, the old the old man um, takes the third bed, uh, and then um, Jeff uh, just kind of kind of sleeps on the ship. I'll, if, if they don't have beds, I'll, I'll sleep in my bedroll. Oh, you have a bedroll? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then cool, you'll sleep on the bedroll, and then he'll take the other bed. Um, and then the next day comes, and if one of you guys could give me a percentage roll, you want me to do it again? But I'm the Wait, captain. Oh. Excuse you. Oh, I'm the captain. captain I'm the captain <laughs> now, guys. Oh, that's a twenty-five. Twenty-five? Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So as you're as you're going across uh, and you're coming out, it's ironic that you need it. It's still on day four. Oh, as you're okay. coming across, uh, you see as you're looking up, up in the crow's nest, you see another flag of a ship. And for a split second, you see the distinct look of Annabelle's uh, colors. Okay. Uh, I'll shout down to everyone. All right, cool. Uh, hey, I think uh, we found the ship. Oh, what? We did? Oh, yeah. oh gosh. Prepare. Uh, okay. Yeah, so as you guys look out, you see a ship, and then you as well see the flash of that flag, and you recognize it oh. as Annabelle's ship. Just kind of like right, you and I'll tell like... all the contracts, <laughs> let's go prepare! And I take... Uh, what is the gunpowder coming in? Is it a hard of gunpowder? Um, it's... Or is it like a big it's, it's actually like, like, you're like, hey, get the gunpowder. And a bunch of them go, and they take the cups that you guys can use the water. Oh my god. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That explains <laughs> so much. <laughs> and you a bunch of cups of gunpowder. Oh, okay. Um, I feel so much cooler now. <laughs> All right. To know I was drinking gunpowder. <laughs> Uh, by this time, the, you're coughing up like black specks now. You have the you have, left cask of you have alcohol. Have block. <laughs> yeah, alcohol will be empty, so I just fill up the cask and then bring it down with me. Cool. And then 
I'll be like waiting to where the drop off point will be when we get the alcohol. Okay. And so, what is your guys' plan? Uh. Alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we, is that our plan? Are we doing, doing that? Are we, are I we think just that's a good idea. I kind of like that. All right. To trade. We're going to have to get a microphone. The Man, this is risky. And call, yeah. The boom hand? Yeah, get the boom hand. Uh, and then, all yeah, the you, oh, Captain. Oh, the are with me. Captain. Captain, do you want him to do it? No, they're looking at the three of you. He's louder. Oh. Right, wait, wait, wait. There's something I wanted to do while in that preparing phase. Okay, cool. Uh, do we have a minute? Like a like an actual minute of time? Oh yeah, you guys have you guys have you guys are coming up on it, but it's not like it's not like it's right there. You have you have time to prepare if you want to prepare something. Uh okay, I'm gonna use this thing, it's called smell spell smith. It's for okay. the mark of making. Uh and I'm sort of like holding my bow and like uh sort of like my tattoos start to glow again and I like kinda go over it and like prepare a ritual and it's a plus one to hit and damage. Now. So so it effectively makes it a magic weapon. Yes. That's cool. Bless. It lasts for a minute. But when the time, like, when they're going to so attack, she's going to hold that. Ha- so, like, that's your prepared action. Mm-hmm. She's going to cool. bless. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, Jeff takes the sword and he swings it a few times. Like, yeah, I can use this. And he kind of places it back. Mm-hmm. And then, Oh, uh, and bless Jeff. I probably do have, like, a sling that he puts it in. Because that's how I, I keep mine on my back. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. And then, uh, and then um, you notice, as you're coming across and you look, uh, you notice that Donahue has taken the the uh, rod that you let him keep, and he took like a small knife that he had, and he carved it into a staff. And he's like, I can use this. And this staff is, he's using it as like his arcane focus. He carved it into a staff? Or? Like he carved it in, he carved like, like, runes. sorry, I should say he carved it into kind of like something that has runes on it. Oh, okay. But this will last for a little bit. Okay. So he's using that as like an arcane focus. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have my like big cast ready to throw, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna like call and be like, uh, I'm gonna not say anything, give the hand back to the contract. I'm like, I can't do this, guys. This is too nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm keeping it down. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Attention. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Generic. booming out, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. It booms out. Uh, we're in need of alcohol. Uh, it's a party night, and uh, we're just willing, wondering if you're willing to trade. <laughs> How much? Uh, we're going 15 for a keg. 15 gold. Sure. Yeah, I right. see the tips are slow down. Mm-hmm. And the voice, the voice sounds uh, oddly mechanical in nature. Um, I should point out, like, as they're saying it. Mm, okay. um, you guys would kind of be aware that uh, there are beings in this world that are mechanical and can speak. Yeah. Um, and they're typically known as Warforged. Okay. So it's that uh, you're, you're speaking to. Is it is it like uh, the constructs that we have are fairly common, but like Warforged are kind of like... Yes. Okay. So it's like it's like Warforged are kind of like a bygone era mm-hmm. of, of construct that, um, that was kind of pushed down into what they are now because what they are now is a lot, a lot simpler to control, a lot easier to have yeah. do what they wanted to do while Warforged at one point um, kind of did a Detroit Become Human type thing and started to try to revolt and okay. it just fell miserably and most of them got wiped out of existence but there are still some kind of roaming around. Do our characters know about all that history? Or? Uh, you would be, you would know. And you would know because of your age. Okay. So you you probably lived towards the end of that war, yeah. and you were probably taught about it and yeah. like the dangers of of war forge, basically. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> you hear a mechanical voice, and you're like, why can't our constructs do that? We're probably explaining to you what a war forged is. And so it's a sentient type, bigger construct, a little Wait, s- much scarier. So we can get pet constructs that can talk and are way bigger and more deadly? No. I'm excited. Oh. Careful how you use the word pet. <laughs> They're not pets. <laughs> Alright, cool. So yes, yeah, so you guys come up and they slow down and uh, and their top drops and as it drops, you see a cannon. 
Oh, oh my gosh. All gosh. Right. <laughs> and then a war forged with a cask of alcohol. Well, he All gave right. us the alcohol. <laughs> this? Yeah. I, I'm, uh, do we have a, a bag prepared of 15 gold? Did we so, do that? How far? Yeah, okay. you, would have, you would have some gold. Yeah. How far away is it? Um, it's about 20 feet away. You could jump it, maybe, if that's what you're thinking. It is a little bit lower, so it's kind of like you guys are you guys are about like this, and it's about twenty feet away. But their ship is a little bit lower, just okay. a, just a bit, not enough to make a huge difference. But if you're trying to jump twenty feet, it's a difference. Wait, what's the running jump thing? Uh, you can move equal to your guidance. strength. Score. You can jump equal to your strength score. So you could go nineteen feet, and you'd probably be able to grab the edge. Okay. If you really wanted to try it. Because I already know that's what you're thinking. No. What was it? Uh, I need to check a range. For um, a the, so. the, uh, one of you guys' constructs goes and gets the long pole. <laughs> has it at the ready. Mm -hmm. To put the gold on it. Yeah, I'll put a, a bag of, of gold. And she'll probably have con uh, contributed gold, too. Now you're saying they're lower. Does it look like they could still hit us with the cannonball? Oh, uh, you guys specifically or your ship? The ship. The ship, yes. Okay. You guys, maybe not. If they got lucky and blew through the piece of the ship you were on, then they would hit you. Okay. That's kind of how that works. That's how I jump across. Hmm? How I jump across. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you, all right. Uh, let me, sorry, I'm just looking something up to make sure I can do everything I want to do. It's a deep order ability checks. Mm -hmm. 20 feet, you said? Yes. Okay, I'm going to... I have two things I want to do. Go for it. I want to throw the keg into the area where the cannon is. Like, uh, so you're taking your keg and tossing it? Yes. As and you then, look and you go to do that, I just want to make sure, because I want to make sure that you understand this properly. The Warforged has a keg up on its shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, so you take Wait, your keg. Was that? Like okay. the keg of, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. He I, has a keg to give you guys. Okay. Uh, on second, oh wait, actually. So I just want to make sure, if you're going to throw that, you understand, like, he already has a keg to give you, so. Yeah, but that's alcohol, I can't burn alcohol. <laughs> <My God>. <laughs> <laughs> Fatal flaw, alcoholic. So, and, uh, what was it, my character does have the keg of, like, gunpowder ready. Okay. That's what he's preparing it for. This he's going to throw it on there, and down. he has produced flame that you can throw for 30 feet. I see. So he's going to throw it on there, and then he's going to cool. throw the flame at the gunpowder. So I'm going, going to, to tell you, if you do that, there is a chance, um, as you look, and you, you're holding your keg, you see there is one of the smaller constructs at the cannon ready to pull it. So it would be a check to see if you could do what you're trying to do before they could fire the cannon, if you want to risk that. I'm going to try it. Can I try something? I, I want to fire both my shots. Like, I just want to, like... Sling the arrow real quick, and then fire both shots at the uh, the construct. Cool. It'd be the same thing. You yeah. Have to... Yeah. I'm going for it. Okay. Cool. Are you, uh, are you a thing too then? Yeah, I'm going the same time. Cool. Let's see what the construct does. Guidance and crossing your fingers. Can I? Do you want me to roll attack? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Colin. Gosh dang. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys. You guys roll your decks first to see if you can do this before. Is it a dex save? It's a dex check. Dang it. I get a plus four, right? Is it pl a, plus a D4? A D4. D4. Yeah. Okay. D4? Can yeah. you figure it now that D4 isn't going to matter? You need to... I, yeah, I'm sure it's not. I have, I'm not the roll a natural 20 right now. <laughs> I rolled a natural 20. No. No. Okay. Make your roll. I'm not even going to add. First. Well, I feel like even if it's a natural 20... Like a 20 you can add to it to see if you do your thing before he does his thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you got a 20 not natural. <laughs> hey. What do you mean I got a 20 not natural? It's a 10 oh, and a 1. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought there was a 19. Uh, That's why I was confused. Uh, one second. It's, it's a glare. Okay. I got... Nine... Or... With, with all your ads. 22. 22? I got a 15. You're 15. All right, cool. So you take the keg, and he's like, you want this? And as your construct is moving the gold over, you chuck your keg, and as he chucks it, the Warforged looks over at the construct, and the construct pulls it, as you, you pull the thing, and as the cannonball fires and it's traveling through, you pull back and fire at the construct. Okay. So let me... 
be cool. Um, let's see if it breaks the ship's hull. Uh, it does. Oh no. Can I <laughs> shield it? <laughs> you can. Not in front of a cannonball. You want you can do that? Cry. <laughs> hey, what's your AC right now? Right now it's 18, but with the reaction it can now be uh, 23. Okay, don't worry about it, because I got a 24. Um, so I rolled a D3, I rolled a D6 to see if it would hit any of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, it's hitting you. I got a 24. Can I have it? So uh, all of a sudden the spot um, right at your feet, like in front of you, all of a sudden a cannonball blasts through the ground and smack, like, like as you dodge out of the way, it catches you in the arm. And you take, um, oh no, this Did I takes so 19 bad. damage. <laughs> Did I tell you how much I hate you? I'm really glad that this is where he got his natural 20. Uh, it just makes it, <laughs> make it, what am I doing? This makes it so much more epic. And this is, it was 19 damage? Yeah, 19 damage. I, I, I hate you. Then so you, Jacob. He has an epic moment playlist, and there's no music in it. Oh, it's, probably it's, all, it's probably because it's all on his computer. Wait, was that? No. Okay. Um, and so, as the cannonball blasts through, you see it like cut through the bottom of your ship and up into uh, up into Vega. As she dashes out of the way, as she like dodges out of the way, and it just cut, catches her hard in the arm. Um, it's probably broken. When we're <laughs> actually roll a con save for him because we're going to do. Uh, Lingering wounds. Oh, the massive damage. Yeah, massive damage. What if I don't? How much damage did you say? Nineteen. Okay. It's more than yeah. half. That's right. Why do you want to kill my sixteen-year-old? I don't. I had a natural twenty. Oh my right. god. Oh. <laughs> and you, and you like you like dodge out of the way and it catches you and, you're like, and you just kind of straighten out. Um, and then I can you, do this, you guys. And then fire your produce flame at it. So go ahead and uh, roll your attack on the keg and see if you can break the wood. Okay. Uh, all you gotta do is roll damage for the produce flame. I'm not gonna make you try to hit the. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's 2d8s. Uh, which one? Which one? That's 11. 11? Cool, yeah. So as you do it, you hit it and you see the flame. Onto the keg, mm -hmm. like come on, come on, come on, and then you hear an explosion as just gunpowder and shrapnel explodes out right next to the warforged as he tries to dodge out of the way, and he will take half damage. So I'm gonna roll, I'll roll eight d six for this. Um, oh, for the eight d six, yeah. yeah, one whole keg. <laughs> That's all gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he takes a good hit as he jumps out of the way. You see, like, some of his body uh, start to burn the metal. Um, it's burning red from the uh, from the explosion. And he looks up, and he just kind of points at you guys as uh, a few more Warforged run down. Um, there's about there's about three total. Or there's, sorry, there's four total, and they draw weapons. All right, wait, um, did I get to shoot the little construct? Go ahead and okay. fire to shoot the construct. There was something else I was going to use with my bonus action. It's part of... Uh, also check. Uh, your attack also, um, as the construct is being attacked. Does guidance only work with one thing? Or is it... Uh, uh, guidance is a d4 to your next check. Okay, so I already used it. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. My lowest is a uh, 12. Uh, both, both hit. Okay. And this is magical damage, just so you know. Uh, 12 damage for the first shot. Okay. And 10 for the second. Cool. Yeah, so as you as you fire, the keg goes through and explodes. And as it explodes, the, the cannon that the, the, the mini construct fired uh, blows off of the ship. And then your two shots uh, strike the construct and it falls apart. Okay. There's one thing I want to use with my bonus action, which is a uh, step of the wind. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, which means my uh, jump distance is 22 now, right? Okay. Uh, and I'm running and jumping for the other ship. Awesome. And you run and you, and you jump and you land on the other ship and you look up and this uh, 
one Warforged that's kind of has like this steaming arm, and then three more that just run down. Uh, All right. I would also like to run and jump on the ship. Uh, what's your strength score? 19. All right. <laughs> Roll athletics. But isn't it a more if you run and jump? It's equal to your strength score if you run and jump. Okay. Right. So roll an athletics check for me, because I'll let you try to push a little bit further. All right. Vega's not going to do that. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> What'd you roll? Rip. Did you roll a one? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I got this. Oh, God. And you run, and you go to jump, and you just slip, and you're like, like whoa, you're like, oh, shit, and you grab on to the back of your ship, and you're like, just hanging on the back of your ship. I don't know if I can make a deck save since I use it like an action and bonus. No, action. you're you're on the other ship. Oh, uh, oh, oh! So you, like, you like slipped trying to jump off of your ship and were able to grab onto the edge of it. He's just kind of. I'm gonna there. try to help pull you up. <laughs> and then the old the old man looks at Jeff and he grabs Jeff by the arm and then snaps his fingers and they both disappear in mist and appear next to you. All right. Cool. Uh, roll initiative. How can I help him up? Uh, there should be boss combat music. I have it on. Yeah. Cool. What would I need to roll for? Uh, it would be sharing? athletics. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you're trying to pull them up. Corgi, why? Corgi, why? Because <laughs> it's a corgi. Oh. It's not meant for combo. Okay. He's my healer. Oh, I like this one. It's called On Thin Ice. This is him on the edge of the ship. <laughs> yeah. He technically has a negative two. <laughs> he's, in. he's in negative combat. He got distracted by what was possibly a cat. Alright, um, Vega, what's your initiative? Um, 12 and Fluffy Bottom got a one. Natural one? Yes. Alright, uh, Nero? 13. And Prometheus? 18. Alright, cool. Prometheus, you're first. You are currently hanging off of your own ship. You just look down and you're hundreds of feet in the air. Why this? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. I'll pull myself up. Alright, uh, roll up what it's for me real quick. Please. It's gonna be easy, just don't roll a one. Okay. It's not a one. Okay, what was it with the athletic score? Nine. Nine? Cool. You're, you're like struggling, like you're panicked, and you're just, and you pull yourself up and onto your ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, was that my action, or is that my movement? Um, I'll let that be your whole movement. Okay. Whole and, hmm. So you still have an action. Because it, typically it's 10 feet of movement, to like climb and then 15 feet to stand. So you have five feet too if you want, but I don't know what you're gonna do with five feet. Yeah, you're gonna back up. I'm gonna, what was it? Throw my produce flame at the construct that's red. And the way that that works is like, I produce the flame in my hand and I like chuck, chuck it. Chuck it? Yeah, it's like, in the dark dark souls, the fireball. Yes. It's like that. Okay. It's exactly like that. All right, go ahead and make a, uh, make a attack roll for is it attack or is it? It's an attack roll. It's right, attack, roll. attack roll. Natural twenty. Cool. You just like you just look. I almost died. <laughs> Chuck it straight at him and roll damage, and you get uh, double damage. So roll two. Oh right. Um. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Ten. Twenty-two. No. Twenty-one. 20. 20. 21 damage. All right, cool. You chuck this at him, and it catches him like in the other arm, and now both of his arms are just glowing this like bright red color. I don't know and if that's a good idea. And he just looks at you, and he like he's been forged he by fire. This mechanical roar, and just frustrated beyond belief. Um, so that was Prometheus. So uh, it's the Warforged turn. So the other ones uh, run down, and they draw these long swords as he. Um, as he reaches into uh, to, towards his back and pulls out his own his own long sword. All right. And uh, two of them are going after you. Okay. One after Donahue and one after Jeff. So the two that are attacking you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was something else. <laughs> the 
dice bounced off of the dice. Uh, so that was a 26, a 9, a not natural 20, and a miss. Uh, yeah, so two of them hit. The 26 and the na natural 20. Or not natural 20. Okay. And you're going to take um, 14 damage. Ouch. Uh, as as you're kind of blocking off, saving off the, the attacks that you can, uh, two of them get through and just kind of cut at your sides. Um, as uh, Jeff manages to dodge out of the way of the attack coming for him, okay. and uh, Donahue will take a hit. All right. Um, Does it look like he's as 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 he as as this one rushes for him, he like pulls up his book as if to cast a spell, but before he can, the slash gets across him, and he. Uh, uh, the slash isn't like super deep, but it's kind of across his chest. He just kind of, kind of grimaces. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Um, next up is uh, Nero. Okay. Um, If I disengage, that's my action, right? Um, I believe Monk has an ability to disengage as a bonus action. See if I use a key point. Maybe use key. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll just do this the fun way. All right. Uh, did only one of them hit me, or did they both hit me um, with both each hit one attack? Both. Okay. Uh, if I Man. If I can, I want to fire an arrow at both of them. Yeah, um, so something that we don't do often for whatever reason, you can split your attack action between different targets. Yeah, that's what I um, Are you disengaging away from them? Nope. nope. I'm going to do it with did, disadvantage. Have disadvantage on yep. your mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to use a key point to do flurry of blows. Alright, cool. So uh, so you're like you're like firing, firing, and then one handing and punching. Yeah, we're going like, uh, cool. what's that guy in Marvel? I would get her. The, Hawk, Hawk. Yeah, I'm going like Hawkeye with this. Okay, it's like. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so first longbow shot is really good. Uh, I got an 18. That hits. And the second one is a 10. That one misses. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll say, I don't, I don't, you can pick one that, the one um, that I'll do, I'll do one. Two, one, two. So, okay. and then the flurry of blows is the one attack or two attacks that you do. It that? is two. Cool. So, and you're splitting that two also. Uh, no, I'll do it on the one that I hit. All right, cool. So, so you turn, and the way that the way that you end up doing it is you pull out, uh, you pull out your arrow, and as you pull out the arrow, you kind of like slice it across the one that you ended up hitting, mm -hmm. and it just like the the head of the arrow slices across them, and then you you knock it and fire, and it just bounces off the one that you hit, and you turn and you punch at the other one twice. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, I need to, I need the roll for the arm armor attacks, right? Mm -hmm. To see if it hits. Uh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, you roll two attack rolls. Oops. Um, do you want me to do damage for the arrow first? Uh, go roll two attack rolls. Okay. So. Um, and the one that you hit uh, is not the the captain. The other one is the captain that's attacking. Got it. Lowest was twelve. Um, what was your highest? That and then the other one was a fifteen. Uh, both of those miss. Oh, okay. Uh, so I like break my knuckles. <laughs> you, you, like, you like punch it twice. And you're like, eh, it's almost like these things are made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, just my longbow attack is a ten. Ten damage. Cool. Yeah. So as you as you slice across, uh, you notice like like a spark, almost like um, like some of the magical essence that bring, that keeps it alive, uh, almost like sparked out of it. But as you try to attack that section, it's almost like it's reinforced itself, and okay. you can't break through. Um, are you moving? Uh, no, because I don't want to attack. Alright, uh, Vega. So, I can make Grease <laughs> up here at, the ten, at a 10 foot radius. Okay. Um, or, let me double check, actually. Uh, Grease appears... Yeah, 10 foot square, sorry. Uh, since we're on a point. So, can I... There's two of them gathered by him. Mm -hmm. Can I... They're, they're on his sides. Each side. Yeah. Dang it. Um... So currently the battlefield looks like you have uh, Donahue fighting one, mm -hmm. you have uh, Nero, and then two on his sides, and then you have Jet fighting one. Yeah. Uh, and there's one captain. The captain is on him. The captain appears to you guys. Uh, he has like a, an extra crest on him. 
uh, with the design on it. Mm -hmm. um, the design is uh, is of a shattered sword yeah. um, on his chest, and that's the one that's taken the hits so far. Okay, and it's fighting Nero? Huh? It's that's, fighting that's Nero? By, uh, Nero? Okay, yes. well, I'll center the grease on that. It has to make a dexterity save of 14. Which probably... Cool. Uh, uh, he got a three. He fell. He's prone. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, so he he takes that hit and then like you you bruise your knuckles on him and then he he goes like he's gonna swing at you and all of a sudden he slips and he falls prone. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Um, and and then, you look down and you see like this grease covering the ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then how hurt... is it on me? No. No. Okay. It's yeah. Um, and how hurt is Donahue? Um, Donahue, uh, Donahue, as he's fighting, he kind of turns a little bit. You can see he has like a, a gash like across his chest, but it doesn't look too deep from okay. like, you're, you know you're pretty far away. A little difficult to see. Right, he's definitely taking a hit. Within 60 feet? Uh, yeah, okay. he's within 60 feet. Okay, then I'll do healing word. All right. You haven't been hurt yet, right? Nope. Okay, great. <laughs> he said it'd be a bummer. <laughs> uh, that's, ooh. That's four, eight, seven, uh, ten healing. Cool, yeah. You, you, uh, you speak this word and, uh, you It's just, heal. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, it's like, uh, Heal up, old man, or something. Like that. <laughs> you, feel like you just heal, and you like kind of snap your finger, and you see the wound close. Cool. Uh, that's is that your turn? Do. Yeah, that's what I can do. Cool. Uh, it is uh, Jeff's turn. Um, Jeff is gonna look at the one that he just dodged, and he's gonna swing down at him once, uh, using the hooked, uh, using the hooked sword, trying to stab him, almost, as, almost trying to use it as if it's a sickle. And when he turns and like tries to catch the sword in him, it just bounces off. Yeah. And he just kind of snarls a little bit in frustration, uh, not used to using those types of weapons. Um, Donahue's turn. Uh, he's gonna flip through his book really quickly, and he's just gonna, um, he's just going to kind of take a step back, um, and then snap his fingers, and a little bolt of fire is going to fly over the one next to him. Uh, he will have disadvantage on this, because he's not, he's, he's kind of like leaning back and firing. He's not stepping away. But he hits. Thank you, old man. And he does a lot of damage. And so as he fires this uh, firebolt, it catches this uh, this warforged right in the chest, and it kind of bounces back in a little bit of disbelief, as it was just this red mark spreading out from his chest now. Um, is Donahue the, is Donahue and uh, baby? Oh, Corgi. I was like, what's a Corgi? Is, is Donahue and Vega the only ones I can see casting spells? Uh, are any, sorry, a better way to say that. Are any of the enemies casting spells? No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> so, I can... Professor could, Fluffy Bottom. Doctor. PhD, sorry. man. Doctor Professor Fluffy Bottom. Mm -hmm. PhD. A doctorate in philosophy. <laughs> and religion. <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can make him disappear and then reappear on the ship. Cool. Within 30 feet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a dog now. Let's imagine he just looks in this poor pork motherfucker. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if I saw a corgi do that. <laughs> it's like walking down the street, street and hearing that and looking back, there's a corgi. <laughs> And then I was going to have um, it cast uh, Bless on the three that are on the ship. Oh, perfect. Cool. That's the that's the one you did before? Yeah. Okay. Is oh, Bless that's... a... Oh, that's not a touch. Damn. Is Bless a leveled spell? It's a first level. Then you can't do that because you can't cast... Uh... Yeah, I didn't mean to... Actually, it says the same turn, not the same round, so I'll give it to you. The rules depict same turn, not same round. This is technically a different turn. Okay. I'm okay. pretty sure. Uh, that's what. That's how we'll call it for now. And if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry to the people that are watching that Whoops. will call me out for it. But uh, I don't want to dig through the book right now. Yeah. So Whoops. that's what we're doing for now. Uh, it, yeah, it's just a uh, four to sorry, D four to attack or oh, is that all of them. Roll. All uh, three. Is that also Jeff and Donahue? Yeah, the three. All right, cool. Two attack rolls. Uh, or saving rolls, yeah. Okay. So attack rolls and saving throws, you get a D four out of two. All right. Um, for Prometheus. Cork um, has joined the battle. <laughs> How big is the area, the platform where everybody's fighting? Um, 
So the platform itself is about 40 feet wide. Okay. Uh, they're kind of spread out across it. Um, you got these. You got uh, two sets of people fighting, and then about a 10 foot gap, and then um, Nero fighting uh, two of them. Um, about a 10 foot square of that is covered in grease. Uh, Don't go and there. And then it goes about it goes about uh, 40 feet deep. So okay. they're right. They're like kind of close to the edges of it, but uh, it goes about 40 feet we'll past just them. Push them off. The the warforge. <laughs> Okay, so I would like to rage. Cool. And I would like to jump across the ship. Roll athletics with advantage. Please don't fall again. If you do fall, I have feather fall for you. I, I'm raging, so I should be fine. Oh, I got a natural one and a 19. 19 with the athletics, that's like what, like a 26? Yeah. So I cool, yeah. You're just like do it this time. You get real mad and your, your, your body starts to sizzle a little bit. You run and you jump and you just kind of land on the other side. Uh, that'll use most of your movement. You okay. have enough time to get... Um, the one next to Donahue is the one that's not greased up, unless you jumped on the grease. <laughs> yeah, the one that's not greased up. So you can get to the one next to Donahue or you can get to the uh, non-her one that's fighting uh, Nero. Uh, well, I feel like I'd end up hurting... Wait, actually, no, I'm going to go over your to the one... has a 10-foot reach, right? Yes, it does, actually. Yeah. So I'm going to go into the constructs like range, where it's just in the 10 yep. bookmark, and then I'll attack it. Cool. And attack with advantage because you're flanking. Then you get two attacks, right? Because they're level five. So. Yes. I actually okay. get three attacks because I'm also going to use my bonus action because I pull our master as a feat. Nice. Nice. So you get to use like, the back end of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first attack is uh, 24. That hits. Second attack is also 24. That hits. And the third attack is 18. That hits. Roll damage call three. Oh my god, for you. So that's, that's another uh, two. So, do all of the, the constructs have, do they all have long swords, or are some of them using short swords? Um, they all have long swords. They all have long swords, yeah. okay. Just the captain has like a special one. Yeah, it feels like the captain's sword when it hit you hurt a little bit more. Okay. Just a little bit. Twenty six damage. No, wait, cool. like twenty twenty six damage, yeah. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, so you, you get upset, you're like, I'm gonna make it this time. You start to sizzle a little bit, you run and you jump across and you just kinda land. You stand really quickly and turn, pull out your glaive and swing twice and kind of hit him with the butt of it, and the warforge just seems to Glow with this like brilliant, uh, this brilliant red as you as you hit across, and it uh, staggers a little bit and then stands back up. Um, but you have cut into it pretty well. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then it takes three more damage from. Yes, it does actually. It takes three damage from my. Yep. Enemies. So and that twenty nine. Yeah. And then it's the warforged. So, so uh, that warforged will turn to you and will step. Your attack if you want it. Cool, I do. <laughs> You're like, heck yeah. Uh, can I do it with my bow? Yes, but you will still have disadvantage. That's okay. fine. I don't think I don't think I have time to put away my bow and then pull out my sword. You could also attack them. Yeah, let's just do that. That works. That's probably the actual reaction that I would have. It also makes more sense because you do damage with your fists. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I got a 15. Uh, you're like. Oh, a chance! Ow! You <laughs> try. <laughs> 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 then Warforge steps towards you and swings at you twice with the long sword. Okay. Um, with a uh, with a hit and a crit. Ouch! Dang. Um, and he will do. Uh, you have resistance, right? Yeah. Damage because you're raging. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, you, you'll take. 28 damage, reduced to 14. Okay. So he slashes into you twice, and like you feel like, feel like if you weren't upset, you'd be feeling this a lot right now. <laughs> but you're upset, so. You're pretty uh, upset. The other one, the captain, is still going to attack you, okay. um, Nero. Yep. Uh, he swings down twice on you uh, with a 21 and a 27. Both hit. And you take uh, 15 damage as he's just taking the sword with, and he grasps it with both hands and he just swings across your body twice. 
Um, the one fighting Donahue will strike at Donahue twice and hit him once. And Donahue uh, will take a bit of a hit. Uh, this hit looks like it affects him a good deal more than the last one did. Uh, it gets him real good like across the stomach and he kind of staggers for a moment before holding himself up with his staff. Um, and then Jeff uh, will also take a hit. Um, what if they don't? <laughs> and uh, the hit on Jeff uh, uh, similarly seems to catch him um, across the chest and he kind of staggers just a little bit uh, in surprise at it, uh, catching him. Um, he keeps getting hurt. Nero. Oh, Vega, you can heal, right? Yes. My bones. Okay. My bones. Oh, I'm at nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, really glad I gave you guys Donahue and Jeff. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. That was an event that almost didn't happen. <laughs> that's, I, that's why I was happy when I rolled low. I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, are they both still by me? Um, One's on the floor. Uh, one, yeah. one of them is uh, now 10 feet away, and mm -hmm. the, uh, the captain has since stood up. Oh, and, man. Uh, is, he was. Has attacked twice. Yes, he was before. Did uh, he make he, the dex? No. Okay, so I would still have disadvantage because he's right next to me. Uh, if you're attacking with the bow, yes. Yeah, well, I mean, even if I attacked the one that was 10 feet away, I would. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm going to attack him again. Okay, cool. Are you using your bow or are you punching? Uh, I will use the bow. Alright. Yeah. With your attacks? Uh, are you flurrying? No, I'm not going to flurry. I'm going to use uh, patient defense, though. Okay, what's that do? Uh, it lets me use dodge as oh. a bonus action. Oh, okay, cool. Quick, um, it says a creature that enters the area or ends its turn there must also succeed on a dexterity. So did it leave that area? Oh. And it falls flat on stuff. <laughs> and you still have disadvantage because rules state for whatever reason that you have disadvantage on targets that are prone. But does whatever it cancel reason. out? Do I get advantage and disadvantage? Okay. You know what? I'll let you make normal rolls because you're right next to him. Okay. And you're just um, like an execution shot? Yeah. Because the, the book states that if something is prone, you have disadvantage on ranged attacks. But you're literally standing next to him, so I don't get why you would have disadvantage on hitting him. Like, you can just aim down at him. So Yeah, like, I mean, I could argue for it, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to say make regular rolls. Okay. And it's two of them, so. Oh, man. Oh, uh, lowest was... Uh, 24. Alright, cool, both hit. Yeah. Uh, Alright, and I still have... Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't even use that, so... If it's bless, it's... Uh... Yeah, just once. Sorry. I don't know what I was reading. <laughs> okay. uh, 8 damage for 1, and uh, another 11, so 19 altogether. Cool, how do you want to do it? Uh, the oh captain. man, I, like, I kind of want like the first one to like, uh, sort of like, kind of like just graze like through his, his like cheek, if okay. they have that, and like kind of oil starts leaking out. Yeah. And then like totally. the second one like, is like straight in the middle and like starts to spark. Alright, cool. So what happens is, uh, is you fire your first one down and it catches and he kind of, and he looks back up at you and gets ready to start standing up and just, right. onto the ground. <laughs> Sweet. I helped. <laughs> Are you here from the uh, ship? Vega. Uh, healing. Unless you're doing anything else. Uh, I'm still gonna do patient defense just in case any cool. of them come for me. Alright, cool. Vega, you're up. Um, um, you see a very hurt Nero, a very hurt Donahue, and a very hurt Jeff. And an okay Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. And a Prometheus that has been hit, but it doesn't look like he's bothered at all. Right? He's just so but angry. He's very, very mad. <laughs> He's super angry. Um, right. So do I have to wait for Fluffy Bottom's turn to heal through him? Or could I make I'll it? I'll let you heal through him. Okay. Um, there's no one right next to him, though. That needs... You'll, you'll have to wait for his turn to move him. Oh, okay. Because he'd have um, to But move. if you want to... No, I have to do it through touch for that. Okay. Um, okay, then prayer of healing takes 10 minutes. Yeah, that's a great spell until you realize it takes 10 minutes to cast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 38... <laughs> Nine. Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> uh, there's healing word. Um, 
Yeah, so that's gonna be 3d8 plus seven. Uh, six. That's, that's, I like those. 10, ones. 17 healing. All right. <laughs> that's a beautiful, like, healing word. <laughs> yeah, she got really good rolls. <laughs> I know. Um, and that's a bonus action. And then there's the two other ones. Okay. The, the, the two Warforged. Um, there's still three Warforged. Three Warforged. So there's one on Jeff, one on uh, Donahue, and one on um, Prometheus right now. Okay. Um, and Nero's going to be like, bless you, child. It's just like, <laughs> thumbs up. Um, you will need to wait for the Corgi's turn to cast any more level spells. Yeah. Um, well, that was a bonus action. Yes, but uh, the book states that on your turn, you can only cast uh, one level spell, uh, and the other one's like a cantrip. So. You yeah, could yeah. cast a cantrip if you'd like. Yes, okay. Um... Sorry. That's all saving throws, damn it. Um, that's all I'll do for now. Alright, cool. Uh, Could you it's save his flame, but... It's Jeff's turn, and as he takes the sword, he kind of grabs at his wound, and he just swings, swings toward the war force. Don't rub it in, please, Jeff. And he hits. How much damage do these swords do? Is it a d6? Mm-hmm. They're just short swords. Oh, it's just a flame control sword. Yes. Okay. And he kind of catches with the hook, and then kind of grips a little bit, and you see, like, a little piece of the war forge break off. Okay. Um, and... Then, uh, Don Hughes' turn. And he does the same thing he did before. He kind of leans back and fires his, uh, fires his firebolt. Um, disadvantage. And as he leans back to fire, he kind of, he kind of staggers a moment. And when he fires it, it just fires, uh, past the Warforged head. Um, and then, and then fizzles out before it gets to the ship. Um, Corky. Uh. Dr. Fluffy Bob. He's gonna move over to um, who looks more hurt, Donahue or Jeff? Donahue. He's gonna heal over to Donahue. Damn you, old man. <laughs> Cure wounds. Uh, is that a seven? That is a seven. Uh, six plus seven is thirteen. Plus five, eighteen. Eighteen heal. Mm-hmm. Cool. You look and as uh, as you heal him, uh, your corgi self looks up as all of his wounds heal over. Or he's happy. Who did you heal? Uh, Donahue. Okay. Uh, Prometheus. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna like tear this thing apart. So make your attack. Do Push I it out. Push advantage? it out. Push it out. <laughs> um, you can reckless attack okay. and get advantage on the attacks. But so reckless attack is a bonus action, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. It's been it a while since I played a board game. I'm almost certain that it is because you can't reckless attack and then get great weapon masters benefit out of it. No. No. Okay. Yeah. So you could make your three attacks at advantage if you wanted to. The downside would be uh, if anyone attacks you this turn, then they would get advantage on their attacks. Okay. Mm. Wait, because I remember Nero was fighting on the other side of him. Did he move? Did he move? Uh, the one that Nero was fighting died. The captain. I no, the, remember the one that the one that you were fighting uh, moved five feet away, so you would no longer get advantage. Okay, yeah, that, that's why I was wondering if I got it. Okay, uh, you know I'm gonna that. I'm gonna reckless attack. Alright, cool. Make your attack. Uh, twenty, not natural. Hit. Um, twenty-five. That's a hit. And twenty-four. That's a hit. Twenty. Yeah. Roll your damage. So I'm just gonna bring my glaive across and like cut off its head, cut off its, cut it in half across the okay. waist. And as it falls down, three pieces start glowing and like little tiny bits of like uh, black spots show up on the wood underneath okay. them. That's about it. All right, cool. So, so as you do this, you like cut across and before its head even starts to fall, you come across and take the second swing and cut off its body. 
And then uh, with, the, so with the last anyway. bit, you take the back of your glaive and you just kind of bump it, and its entire body just <laughs> off of the airship. Oh. I like that. Um, <laughs> one actually flew off. Two <laughs> turn. Uh, one of them is going to attack Donahue twice. Please. And he's going to crit. Oh. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Poor Donahue. Did he hit and crit? He hit and crit. Oh my god. Why? And, uh, and, and Donahue, as, as he uh, sliced across, uh, it cuts like deep into his shoulder, and Donahue kind of falls down to the ground, uh, unconscious. And the other one, I'll give him death save. Right? And the other one, uh, but not as many death saves as he gets. Um, Make it two. Uh, and then Jeff will avoid both attacks. <laughs> okay. Across him, he's just like kind of dodging out of the way. Um. Nero. Okay. Uh. Can I? Uh. How far is the one away that attacked Donahue? Um. He's about 15 feet away from you. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm gonna launch two arrows at him. All right. Cool. <laughs> no disadvantage. Yay. <laughs> uh. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to make it do more damage. It's awesome. It's an extra D4. Roll your attacks. Lowest is a 19. Both hit. Okay. Uh, first shot's 10 damage. And uh, that's uh, 15, so 25 altogether. Cool. So as you pull back, uh, you pull back the two arrows once again, and the first shot kind of catches it in the arm. And kind of turns it towards you, and then the second shot pierces perfectly into the uh, the weakened armor of the firebolt that was cast previously by Donahue, and stabs straight through, and it just mm, falls. All right. Um, Does it land on Donahue? No, okay. it lands backwards. Um, Vega. So, probably seeing Donahue fall, mm -hmm. her eyes start flickering. And she just produces uh, wings. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's one. She's gonna <laughs> fly over. Cool. Onto the ship, and then spare the dying on him. You spare the dying, mm -hmm. and his wound closes over, and his breathing stabilizes a little bit, um, yeah. as is this like small pool of blood that had begun to form underneath him. Yeah, and that's just one action. Um, I curse under my breath. <laughs> um, and then, uh, sorry, where is oh. it? <laughs> and are you hurt? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I'm at a 26 out of 38. Okay. In terms <laughs> of in terms of, of pain. <laughs> yeah. And then she'll do a healing word on you. Because it's a bonus action. Is uh, spawning the wings bonus action? Um, so, oh, shit, that's right. I always forget. Good call. Um, it just says it's an action. Sorry. Um, oh, it's alright. I mean, we have. Once per long rest is an action, yeah. Okay, then you wouldn't have been able to spare the dying. Yeah. But I'll, I'll let you, so as well let you do if you want. You can spare the dying instead of... Yeah, uh, I'll do that instead. Okay, cool. I totally forgot. I was like, no, I cool. saw it. It's, it's late. Cool. <laughs> um, it's cool. I'll let you, I'll still let you do the spare the dying. Because mm. uh, otherwise you're probably just killing me. So yeah. I'll let you do the spare the dying. Uh, Jeff's turn. He's going to swing again at the Warforged in front of him. And he's going to hit again. Oh, Jeff doing some work over here. Good and job, Jeff. He's going to uh, make a small, tiny cut. <laughs> one whole uh, singular cut. One whole damage. He's just... Me. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donahue is unconscious. Um, but stable. Lying in a pool of his own blood. But stable. He's stable. He's just unconscious, lying in a pool of his own blood. <laughs> and uh, Corky's turn. Dr. Fluffy Bottle. It's come over to you. All right. Good. Cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you dead in the eyes. That's the, those are the healing words. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you look deep in his eyes, mm -hmm. and the corgi's eyes are telling you, you better not hurt her. <laughs> okay. No. Because of the curse thing, I'm totally joking. Uh, I wasn't saying that at you. You never know. It's 1d8. One, one Is that what I was doing? Yeah, 1d8 plus 4. Uh, it's 10 healing. Prometheus. Mm -hmm. like There's one more forge left fighting Jeff. You can get to it. Um, however, to get to it, uh, if you want to get to it this turn, you'll have to bravely respin. 
Or you just go around the grease. Uh, if you go around, you won't have enough movement. Ah. So how big is a grease pit? Uh, ten foot square. So you'd have to either go straight through it to it, or you'd have to go up and around. And if you go up and around, you won't have enough movement. It's literally a deck save of fourteen. Yeah, you make oh. a deck save, and if you make the save, then you have advantage too because you're raging. Oh, so. okay. You're fine. Well, then yeah. Right. She's a low-level cleric. I mean, wizard. <laughs> it's a wizard spell. <laughs> Go ahead and make your deck save. Oh, uh, just run right through, yes. With advantage? Yeah. Uh, yes. It's a barbarian thing. Nineteen. Cool, yeah. You're just like, this isn't slippery at all. My fire uh, makes it... <laughs> dries it out. <laughs> it dries it out. You get to him, you can take your swings at advantage. Uh, you'd be flanking with Jeff. All right. And... Did you say you had... Falling or feather falling? No? Did somebody ha- did I heard somebody say that? Yes. They spawn she spawned wings. Yeah. Yeah. She's her eyes are glowing, she's wings. She also did say she has feather fall, but uh it's her reaction, so No? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't gonna, don't do that. Were you gonna jump off the ship? I was gonna pick the thing up and then jump off the ship. Why? <laughs> That you, wouldn't work. You still have to fall all the way down. Yes. Oh. We're it, pretty high up, right? Like, yeah. A few hundred feet. Yeah. So it's even possible that Featherfall would run out before you hit the ground. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so the first one is 17, and the second one is... Oh, nat- natural 20. Cool. And that's your first attack. Uh, both hit. So that you have advantage on your attacks. Okay. Yeah, so that's first one a, hits. It was a natural so 20. One. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Is, your, is it the white dice that's getting all these natural 20s? No, that was my first natural 20. That was the one that got the one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then it just got a one again. The curse oh, okay. Dice. All right. Ones or 20s. Curse but one this one is uh, natural 18. Cool. Uh, it's yeah. And the third one. All right. 19. That hits. Okay, so. Kill him. Kill him. Six. Eleven plus. Um, I think that's fifteen. Cool. How do you want to do it? Oh wow. Just uh. Hmm. Push him off. Jeff did Push a lot more off. work. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did. I'm sure he did. He's also not. He's dodging blows pretty well. Yeah. Push him off. Okay. Push him off. <laughs> so for the first one. I'm gonna bring my glaive up and then like cut through the armor, just like. Cool. And then the second one is going this way. All right. You're creating like an X. Yeah. And then there's like a spot right here mm-hmm. where the X is, and I'm gonna like hit that hard enough to like Push knock him off. Cool. Yes. Yep. You do that. And as you hit it, you fall You're off. Okay. You just spin. do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the, falls. No way. Someone survives yeah. that. that was okay. a very important question. Is the keg of alcohol okay? No. Oh. <laughs> it sadly, yeah. it sadly did not make um, it. How is our ship looking? Your ship has a hole in the uh, delivery section of it, but it's not. Uh, it's not so. I took most of it. Did it go it. through? It went up, and then like it's like it went up, and that slowed it, and then it hit uh, it hit Vega, and it slowed it further, and it just kind of landed. Yeah. Kind of all landed behind <laughs> you guys. Oh, so it's like in that loading area? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Serious damage. Vega, Vega helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went through the loading area and then landed on the other side of the loading area. This is more of like a. Oh, Wait, is this okay. easily. <laughs> By the <Okay>. way, <laughs> when uh, he pushed that off, he looked around and then is like sprinting towards the door and like just looking throughout the ship to find any more. More forge? Yeah. You find them all. Okay. And they're sprinting through. Um, what do you guys do? I'm gonna try and pull Donahue back from like the edge because he's kind of close, right? Yeah. Yeah. Heels. So you, you flip Donahue over. You kind of pull him out. There's just like this blood, this blood like following. Yeah. Um, sure. As Jeff kind of kind of steps over, uh, still bleeding a little bit from his uh, wound on his chest, he's kind of holding it. Will everyone survive for ten minutes to do prayer of healing? Uh, yes. Great. It's him to do. Yeah, it's gonna take ten minutes. <laughs> cool. And you're just like, give me a minute. Just or ten. And you start, you open up this like, it's like book of your god, of your uh, god, and you just open up to a page and you start reading some holy passages about healing. 
Okay. And after uh, 10 minutes, um, people will heal. Uh, those that are sticking behind for the healing um, will be Jeff and Donahue. Are you sticking behind? Uh, where did you go to the door? He's running yeah. through looking for Warforged. I, I would be doing the same. All right, cool. So you two run through and you look through every door. There's no more Warforged. Um, as you open one door, you see uh, some constructs tied up. This like little tiny ones? And then like, yeah, oh, okay. ones. as I see them, like everything around me cools off a little bit and I stop raging. And I'm like, <laughs> construct! And then I like run up and just like cuddle. So if you see me, mm-hmm. you're just going to see like Prometheus laying. They're still tied up. They're like, oh, well, I'll take like a hand out, hand axe out and like cut them free. <laughs> <laughs> If I see that, I'll just feel like, and then like can keep walking and searching. Uh, I'm done looking around. Uh, there's no more warforged. Okay. Uh, are the supplies on the ship? Yes. Okay. Um, you see a good deal of them. It looks like uh, the keg of alcohol was probably some of that supply. Um, as you dig through, you do see boxes of supplies, though. All right. I just did ten healing. Cool. You did ten <laughs> healing with eight and two five. Eight. Um. All right. Cool. Uh, still, um, Donahue's. Uh, Donahue's um, wound, which had started to fester, not fester, but which had started to turn into a scar, um, starts to like cure over, and the scar disappears, and he wakes up. And, now, now I remember why I retired. <laughs> and he sits up. Don't do that again. Yeah, we did. And yes, I guess we'd all be dead if we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> stands up and grabs a staff, and, and then Jeff looks. He's like, "You're all right." So this is the ship you were meant to get back? Mm-hmm. And Prometheus walks in with like a line of constructs behind him and he's like, Hey guys! Oh, and you tie them up. The constructs are just following exactly the way that you're walking, however you're walking. <laughs> um, give that a so, 7 out of 10. That's pretty successful, you know? 10 out of 10. But we damaged the other ship. So you guys, uh... We can fix that one. this ship back, then, both of yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go... I'll go with you and I'll talk to Annabelle and see if she needs any time. Yeah, I mean, we have two Who's, ships. Is Donahue saying that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, uh, uh, Jeff, like, I'd, like to, I'd like to go back to the other ship. Maybe one of you stay on this one. Uh, Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh. And I walk She's up towards make me the helm. captain. So you oh, gosh. Oh, no, oh gosh. Like, I'll, I'll get the helm, but oh, you're God. welcome to stay on the ship. And Donahue walks up and pulls out, uh, Pulls out of his little pack his map. Mm-hmm. It's like, so we're going back to uh, Turfs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Quick question. So, yes. Will I be able to find like paint and or other stuff that like would be able to like draw? Like, you see draw supplies, and then you think about it for a minute, and you're like, these are the supplies that we're supposed to take back to Annabelle. <laughs> okay. You can still do it. I'm just telling you. Well, I'm only gonna take like a little bit of paint. Just cool. Yeah, you take some paint. Uh, you acquire one bottle. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Jeff and be like, <clears throat> Yes? Yes? My sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to find one of these in town. They're nice. Yeah, they are. Um, I can't jump that far. Like, I lost my old one. Oh, to get back? Uh huh. Can't you just fly again? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's a once day thing. Uh, I mean, I can just. You know, jump back over. If I um, to. You guys look over and you see your constructs. <laughs> Building they, a bridge. They grab the well, they, kind of, they grab the uh, the pole. They set it across. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. And then they put their hands out and they're like, Oh my. Tight rope walking. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, first off, <laughs> is Donahue staying on this ship? Yes, Donahue will pilot this ship back to uh, Turst. Oh, okay. You're not. He's staying on the ship, but he's not piloting it. Okay. Um, I think maybe I should stay on this ship just to make sure he doesn't, you know, fire any cannons. I'm going to stay on here because I can't get back. <laughs> Jeff looks at you guys and he's like, well, one of you have to go command the constructs. I'll go back. <laughs> She's stuck. She can't. She won't make it. Do I think if I jump 22 feet, it would... 22 feet would get you back. All right. I'm using a key point to... Cool. To jump. And then as you jump, the constructs that were mimicking type of walking, they just look at you. <laughs> Alright. And they look at me. At ease. Can I have my gold bag back? back? The 15 gold? That was being directed over. Did it fall? 
Uh, it didn't fall, but then you look over it and you see like a busted bag with some gold scattered about. I'll pick it up. Alright, cool. <laughs> how much Put do I? How much? Uh, you get ten of it back. Right. Rebecca would have contributed. She like I felt like she would have contributed. Uh, you get your ten gold back. No one yeah. doesn't. Uh, okay. Well, I was gonna tell you that, but by then like Sorry. the fight had already happened, so. Yeah. Okay. So you get your you get your entire gold back. Yeah, I'll okay. say she um, did five. You know. And then and she just lost it. Mom pulls up the map. <laughs> Uh, if I, I'll find a tourist if I can. Yeah, it, it looks like it looks like. So you have that green line. Yeah. You have like a white line that runs down the opposite direction, and you point the white one. Okay. And you walk up, and then uh, you both pull ye old U-turn. <laughs> beep beep. And, uh, after a few days of no trouble and uh, healing and rest from uh, from that fight, can I steal a construct and paint it? Oh God. Do you go up to a construct and say, I want to paint you? I go up to a construct <laughs> and say, you are mine now, come with me. <laughs> and then I give it a really cool design. Cool. It's, so a, that, it's like a... Just so I can tell it apart. It's a wobbly, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> so you paint a design on it. It's a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little fire. And, uh, you guys uh, land both ships um, safely into the dock and... Uh, and head back to Annabelle, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, Donahue and Jeff follows. Uh, Jeff has um, finished his uh, his form of like a coffin and has some of the constructs helping him carry it. He's like, where uh, where was your temple? Oh. It's oh, I'll have known the directions. The old sail so dragon. Yeah. Like, Thank you. Will I, will I see you there? Maybe, depending on what happens here. <laughs> Constructs help him carry it off. Is his construct there too? Yeah, his construct's one of the ones carrying it off. <laughs> I bet. Come on, Spark. I named it. He's carrying the. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and looks at the coffin. Looks at you. And he keeps carrying the coffin off. So you don't get a construct at level 5. Oh, <laughs> and then uh, you guys um, head back to Annabelle. You open the door. And um, Gavin is like, oh, hey, you, uh, you, guys, you guys are back. You're back. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you brought someone else with you, and uh, uh, Donahue was there. It's like, yes, I, uh, I was on a ship that, that they they rescued uh, survivors from. It's like, also oh, survivors, the uh, pirates uh, get more people. Yeah, they shot them down. Mm, did you yeah. did you succeed in getting the ship back? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We did all uh, entirely a hundred percent undamaged. Yeah. Uh, uh, we put we a talk? hole through the uh, dock. No, 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 no. There is a hole. No, 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 no. There was no, 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 no. Ah. Oh man! Ah. <laughs> my heart, my heart, man! I'm gonna like stroke right now. Oh. oh! Oh no! I'll take you guys to Annabelle. You can talk to her. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. He's off, and uh, Donahue follows. All of you guys uh, head to uh, the same thing, the stained glass. You open the door, and she looks up. He goes. Oh, there was a hole in the docking bay. What? There's a hole. <laughs> There's a hole in the docking bay, but that's the only damage to the ship. Other than that, we have both ships. You have both ships mm -hmm. and my cargo. Yes. Yes. Most of it, we lose some alcohol. One awesome. keg. Well, I guess I couldn't expect them to not mess with some of the goods, could I? And she looks back and she grabs this bag. Also, they, she they three separate bags. They, they also destroyed a piece of paint, like a paint bottle. Just it's one. A paint bottle. It was weird. I don't know it's why. part of they, the they, like, threw it at us. Roll deception. It's like part of logistics, you know, like there's there's AP for that reason. Like one one bottle of, of paint, oh it's fine. She catches the flash. It's a natural <laughs> one. Natural one? Alright. I'm like, uh she there was around. a uh, She turns around and she digs into one of the bags and you see a few gold come out of it. And she tosses you that bag. <laughs> and then she tosses you two bag and when you She's open like, it when you open the bag, uh the seventy gold in it for you and seventy five for you two. Okay. So that thank you for, for your work and she listens like I didn't hire you and she points to Donahue. It's like, Yes, my uh my ship was destroyed by the pirates and given that you've lost a captain for that ship I would like to take over if if at all possible. Um, it would be I've been doing that for the last twenty years. It's like, we'll talk about that. Like, Thank you, sweetie, for uh, for the work that you did. Uh, 
uh, getting getting our goods back. Uh, was job job well done? It sounds like. I don't know if this is worrisome to you or not, but your ship was taken by Warforge. Looks like their own little band of things. But I see. Um, well, hopefully that isn't important. Uh, in the <laughs> All right. we'll, oh God. We'll see if it comes up again. I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Thank you for your work, and Donahue, if you would stay here, and we'll discuss you uh, captaining that ship. Yes. Thank you. At least you guys need it. Thank you for rescuing me again. Don't know what would have happened if I, you hadn't. Orcs. Yeah. Orcs. Orcs would have happened. No. Uh, we'd be dead. So. Probably. But don't worry, we had the cannon. It was okay. This is farewell. Should like hug him. <laughs> kind of pats you on the back. Then it's like, oh, I have business to attend to. Sounds like he turns uh, towards Annabelle, and then you guys are ushered out by Gavin. It's like, so you guys, sounds sounds like you did quite a good job. It's, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear. And, uh, you know, I, I actually sold some stuff that day that you left too. It's, it's good quite, job. Quite a good, quite a good time. Did you get a red card? That's the wrong store. <laughs> so, uh, so what, what do you guys, what do you guys plan on doing now? Are you gonna stick together? I have to go back home. <laughs> That's it. You get one adventure, and then they call you back home. Oh no, it's more of like I have to report back and tell them that uh, I think I did good, and then it's like that you did the Lord's work. Well, yeah, then I did a good job, and if they think that I did a good job, then I will be allowed to go back out. Are you allowed to file, like, reviews? Like, can if, I go to them and be like, hey... If you want to come with me, I'm sure they'd love to meet you guys. Oh, I might head out there. <laughs> the gang goes to a temple. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing adventures. I gotta stay alive somehow, so... Alright, well, I wish you all luck. Don't want to work at Fantasy Walmart. Sounds like you did. A, sounds like you did a fantastic job. I hope I did. <laughs> he goes back around the counter. He's like, "I'll see you around." I will I'll definitely come by here. Things here. Thank you. And she says, "Got to." Goodbye. Well. As you guys, uh, as you guys leave the shop, um, you head back home. Are you heading with her? Over? Yes. Is your construct just following you around this entire no. time? No, it Is left. It, did it leave? <laughs> Thank you, uh, XP to level 3 for the donation of $5. Wow, these guys are pretty good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and then, uh, Prometheus, what are you doing? Are you going to uh, go with them? Or are you going to go off on your own? Yeah, I'll go with me, guys. You go with them? Alright, cool. So, Prometheus and uh, Nero follow um, Vega to her temple. Um, and as you see, who is the goddess that you serve? The silver flame. The silver flame. Yeah. So as as uh, as you step up to it, you notice it's like it's like a church steeple, and then as it comes up, the uh, roof of it is designed as if it was a flame, and it's just uh, <laughs> in like a silver a silver uh, just a silver paint that makes it um, kind of chromatic, and it feels like it's just kind of reflecting off into uh, the into the light, makes it look kind of like a flame. And this is the church of the silver flame. As I'm walking up, I'm like, oh, you only like fancy flame. <laughs> as, as you do that, uh, you notice uh, what looks like people in the windows, and like the shutters close, and then the doors open, and like five, like eight clerics run out, and they all surround you. And like, how did how did it go? How did it go? And how how was it? How, how was I it? survived. Yeah, you did. It's like, how, who are these two? Friends. That's Nero. That's Prometheus. He's really tall. Or you're tall, ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really tall. This um, little girl is literally an angel. Yeah, I, I think yeah, she's like... How did she do? Wait, what? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing? Uh, I'd probably be dead. If it weren't for her. I'd be fine, because did, I'm awesome. Did you find your crew? I mean, it was helpful. Uh, uh, well, I, yeah, if I could. They'd be yeah, a lot of fun. Like, sounds like sounds like you did a great job. So, you know, I mean, I mean like stick, out, stick out around the city, because we don't want you going too far yet. But, <laughs> but like, like if, they're, if they stick around and they have any more jobs, like they're always free to come get you. Yeah. <laughs> Pick me up from school, guys. All right. <laughs> Got their permission slip and everything. So, <laughs> thing about that is, there's a job to kill a dragon in like a week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Like, c come on, you guys, and you guys must tell the stories as well, right? I got a lot of stories. They're kind of ushering you guys in, and as you guys uh, enter the church and close the door, that is where we will end the game. All right. All right.
thanks for playing, guys, and thanks for watching those who did uh, while Jacob, Logan, and Spencer are on vacation. Um, this is the one-shot crew for now, and who knows, maybe uh, maybe these players will return someday. Thunder. Uh, but uh, as for right now, as I believe the plan is uh, no Tesseract tomorrow, and next week we will return with uh, Sunder on Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific and uh, Tesseract on Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific. So thanks for playing, guys. Easy roll of dice. We have a merch Easy store. Go dice. buy a shirt and some socks. So anyone have any last words? It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Fork, fork, motherfucker. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's the end of the stream. Bye.